Okay, okay, here we go. First match is gonna be Amato versus Hagiara san. So, Hagiara san is a newcomer in the Brojo Cup, but uh, currently we have Amato who is. He has come back. Uh, it's his second participation to the Brojo Cup. I absolutely adored. I, I have to say, like, from the heart, I absolutely adored his previous play using Faust, and that's the reason why I absolutely want to see him play uh, during the first, uh, the first round of this tournament. And that being said, here we go. We are starting the match, and unfortunately, Hamato is... Uh, Hamato, I'm sorry, is already... Oh, he was sent into the corner, but fine. Wow, a way to get out of it, and now he is the one applying pressure in the corner. Very nice entire. If it was not wanted, if it was wanted, that would have been, like, crazy good, but still... He managed to make the best out of the spear. Even managed to enter Earth using it. Okay, here we go. Back into the neutral. We have Little Faust to try to cover some ground. Make all some of the pressure of his daddy safe. That being said, here we go. He got the spear in. Oh, he missed the timing right there. But it's still okay. He managed to get the kill thanks to the RC extension. And first round goes to Amato. Let's see how this pans out. Let me just check real quick the rest of the... Okay, we're good, we're good. We can here go with the entire and the pressure, the corner, uh, the corner carry with Hagiara. A lot of Jacko players these days, I have to say. I'm very happy because you wouldn't expect like Jacko to be such a popular character. Well, play character. She's a popular, uh, you know, character in the lore of the game. But uh, not many people play her. But right now, you can see a lot of people participating to the Rojo Cup, actually duking and playing a very good Jacko. That being said, here we go with the counter hit and the confirms of Amato this time around, not dropping the combo with. The follow-up of the spear, he goes for the uh, quick teleportation using the RC. Here we go with the aerial approach. That being said, Hagiara was on point when it came to entering him. Tried to bait the burst, no burst coming in. Yeah, Amato deciding to hold on to his burst rather than use it. Very, very smart decision right there from both players, that is. Hagiara using the RC to try to bait the burst and Amato not giving the burst at all. Both made a very impeccable decisions right there. That being said, here we go with the 2D counter hit. Hagiara again trying to bait that burst, but Amato holding on to it very, very, very strongly. That being said, he's got the meteorites. Very nice blocks from Hagiara. Tries to get the trumpet, manages to do so, gets another 2D counter hit. He's got the corner pressure, but Little Faust here to save the day. And his papa again with the 6 HS counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. No conversion station into the overdrive. That being said, Amato trying to get out of the corner, but man, that duty making some making some work, man. Here we go, Hagiara with the corner pressure. Oh, Lord. That air to air to kill to kill the um to kill the minion and then using the uh, mix 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 to get out and to to extend the pressure but that being said here we go with the uh kill by Hagiara using one of the uh one of the what's it called one of the minion to seal the deal very nicely done yo how you doing shiho san welcome back it is pretty chilly i'm so i'm so cold right now i actually put the heater on something that i didn't expect to do uh, before a long time but that being said here we go we have the heater on <laughs> okay and here we go with a very nice far slash right there from amato is yeah he even got the uh, counter hit on it didn't quite get the extension but that being said here we go back to the corner and uh, back to the neutral i'm sorry here we go with the tp quick rc i get up with the pressure doesn't want amato out of the corner that being said that was an unfortunately timed immediate right there from Hagiara gets caught by the grab by Amato. Amato with the corner pressure. And here we go with the dive counter hit. He's going to get a full combo off of it. Oh, he tried to reset the pressure using the TP. Amato absolutely loves to use the TP at very clutch moments. And being said, here we go with the pressure. Hagiara not letting up. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Man. Grab, boom with the grab. He's going to get the wall break. Maybe not, maybe not. And here we go with the quick dust for the kill. Good stuff from Hagiara, definitely not, no slouch at all as I can see, first participation, but already, already very promising results, and here we go with the counter hit, almost got the knockdown, throws the bomb away, and Hagiara, uh, Hagiara actually uh, respecting the bomb pressure, that being said, here we go, he's got Amato exactly where he wants him, doesn't want him out, we go with the, uh, the Jacko pressure, got the grab, how you doing Hakuman? I'm, I'm, my, me myself, I'm always gonna have a good tournament. Hopefully, it's gonna be the same impression for the ones who participate in the tournament. <laughs> Mini Faust versus Minion Crutch match, exactly. Both should be players, you know, playable characters. That being said, we go back to neutral, but Hagiara does have a huge life lead. If Amato makes the comeback, it would be crazy good. Very nice uh, command throw right there. He's got the, uh, he's got the corner pressure. 
tried to go for the overhead. I get I'm not letting up. I get I'm not afraid to just run straight, man. It's crazy. He's been having... Yeah, he's been messing with Amato a lot. He's got the... Dive. Very nice XP. Tries to bait the burst. But I get I'm not... Yeah. No, oh, Lord. That is... Oh, the quarter pressure. Oh, no. He gets grabbed right at the end. This is so unfortunate. Second match goes to Hagiara as well. That was really good stuff, though. But it's not over. It's not over. We still have one more. One more chance for Hagiara to make a comeback. We shall see how this pans out. Good lord. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that being said, here we go with the pressure. What? That was so unfortunate. Okay, Amato still, still in. Ah, he gets jumped in. Very nice spacing, though, from him. Gets punished. From the mix, mix, mix. It is a move that is extremely minus on point on on, on guard. I'm sorry, on block. So uh, you need to be careful when you use it. Okay, we go with the command grab and the afro for Hagiara. Oh lord, Hagiara not free to just run up and grab. Man, it's crazy. Here we go with the dive again and the recognition station from Hagiara, noticing that Amato was gonna go for the uh, the hit throw. I'd say. <laughs> I don't really know how you call this this uh, this attack. That being said, we are on match point. If Amato does not make a comeback right now, it is over for his winner's bracket life. He will be sent to losers, but that being said, it's not over till it's over. I gotta manage to get the minions. This is unfortunate for him. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the anti-air. I gotta has Amato exactly where he wants him. Here we go with the corner pressure. Corner pressure again. Oh, he tries to go for a grab, but unfortunately, Amato is still in block stun, and that made it so that the, he was ungrabbable. Actually, very nice knockdown right there from Amato. Forces the burst, and again, uses immediately the TP to keep Hagara in the corner. He goes for the overhead. Uh, he couldn't quite get the corner pressure. He goes for a reset into the command grab. Is this going to kill a few RCs? No. Oh, he decides to go for a quick dust. The pressure is real. Overhead. Oh, Lord, and that grab for Hagara. He was so on board. He was so on board. He was so on point. Here we go with the mix. Oh no! And Hagiara not respecting, not respect. Well, it's not nothing to respect that. But oh no! Oh no. no! When I said nothing to respect, it was that. Well, actually, play her. So, um, well, um, at least in Japan, that is. That being said, here we go on to the next battle. It's gonna be Naidesu versus Strashback. Let's see how this pans out. We go Naidesu, uh, player I have fought against very often, be it in either the arcades or. Uh, not m that much online, but extremely strong uh, biking player. So let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the Yules on Sen and the, uh, the big, big combo in the corner. He's going to keep... Oh, and he reads the jump out. And here we go. The pressure is real. And poor trash bag is definitely be is definitely in the process of being treated as such. That being said, here we go. Oh, the, the, what, that, that was a strange uh, a strange RC. Yules on Sen, very nicely done right there. Wants to keep... Really wants to keep trash bag in the corner. Oh, and here we go, the Yuzon Sen RC to make it safe. Tries to really hit Trash Bag and force him to stay in the corner, but Trash Bag doesn't want to have anything to do with this. Ah, that Kabari, though. Very nice recognition station from Naidasa. Manages to hit, uh, actually, Trash Bag on his way to throw his head <laughs> to this. Gets hit by the Kabari, counter hit, and unfortunately, that sealed it for this first round. That being said, it is not over till it's over. Here we go with the Kabari. Oh, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at this. And Trash Bag holding on to his. Yeah, definitely holding on to his. Uh, uh oh, wait one second. Okay, somebody called me. I have been summoned. Okay, anyway, here we go. That was good. Uh, good stuff from... Okay, good stuff from Nidus. I'm sorry, could uh, actually... Yeah, I was summoned to... Uh, I was summoned. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, it is good. Everything is good. And here we go. The Kabari goes over, actually. Uh, Fausto isn't aware of this. So, oh, let's go. Hope you're well. Uh, yo, look at that noted. Jumping HS is good for Fausto matchup. It definitely seems like it. I'm taking hella notes. Man, everyone everyone gets so much tech. They do, man. Oh, Lord. And here we go. Trash back. He had the spear. But yeah, forced Nidesu to pop the burst. Okay, here we go. Nidesu almost got the pressure right there. And yeah, Trash back having a lot of problems trying to entire. Ooh, Nidesu. But he's got the spear. He's got the follow up. Unfortunately, he kind of drops it. But it's still okay. He's got the uh, side switch right there using the cross up. Using the the, the, the the mix mix and he's gonna get the kill actually very nicely done by trash bag good stuff puts one round on the board let's see if he can uh, actually put another one we shall see 
Uh, that being said, give me a couple of minutes so I can check the chat. Not the chat, the, uh, the, 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 the brackets, actually. Let me say, here we go, very nice spear again, gets the hit. Doesn't quite get the extension using the bombs. Ah, and here we go with the Hiragi, it had to come at some time. It had to come at some time. Here we go, the tough time you guys in the air, two are in favor of Trash Bag. Woo, gets the hit using the overhead and the six speed this time around. Trash Bag on, on the point of, on the verge of taking it. Oh, he goes for the quick dust, and boom. Damn, trash bag, good stuff, holy freaking lord, puts one on the board as well, what is Nidus gonna do? Let's see, let's see, let's see, all right, all right, all right, <laughs> it is not, oh, good stuff right there, he catches the bag dash of Nidus using the overhead of Faust, uh, and here we go with the Tatami Gaishi, personally too far to get any extension, but it's still okay, he's got the grab, oh lord, and that setup right there, and he gets the hit with the 2HS counter hit. Unfortunately, might not be able to continue because of this. Good stuff from Trash Bag. Okay, here we go with the Shagami of Trash Bag. Oh, and the Hiragi! The RC into the Hiragi! Oh my lord, the recognition that Trash Bag had committed to a standing P. And immediately you could see Nidus use the RC and immediately convert into the Hiragi. And again, with the Hiragi, man! Nidus is not giving a F. Oh, good lord, and here we go with the corner pressure. Nidus again with uh, the corner pressure. Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. You hate it, right? Here we go, 4S counter hit for the... Oh, no, he goes for... No, you have to see it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, very nice 6P. Oh, my lord, the, the freaking range of the 6P of Faust is so incredible all the time. Here we go to Tatami Gaishi, and here we go with the jump, and finally Nidus uh, finds the opening. He goes for... Oh, oh and that... That air grab, and he goes for the overhead, and he's gonna get a kick boom! <laughs> Good shit. That was... That was very clutch. Good stuff from Trash Bag. Manages to bring it back. I wonder who's... in who is it the favor, I mean, this matchup. I really cannot tell. I, I feel like both players... Both characters have, like, you know... Oh, Lauren, we're going to a chest count and not counter hit, but he manages to sweep the feet. He can feel Trash Bag, he wants to get out of the corner. Very nice use of this XP, finally gets something going. He gets the hit on the uh, jumping D, I believe it is. Here we go with the... Oh, no! Is he gonna get the jungle? Oh, oh, no! Here we go with the counter hit. And, oh, he goes by freaking quick. TP using the, uh, the extension station. He couldn't quite get it. He couldn't quite get it. Oh, no, that was sneak. That was sneaky. Oh. Oh, and she gets the kill with a 4K crash bag, man. If she gets the lead, he's in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Holy freaking lord, that was so clutch. It's not over, though. We still have one more freaking match. One more freaking... Well, maybe. If Trash Bag takes it, it's going to be one more match. If he doesn't, then it's not going to be the case. <laughs> but anyways, there you go. Oh, very nice 4K right there again in TUD overhead to hit Nidus out of the air. Oh, lord. Good lord, yeah. Oh, here we go with Trash Bag. Oh, he's got the minions. No 6P, sir. Here we go to Tatami Gaishi pressure. Okay, goes for the head throw. Oh, again with the 6P. So good. The 6P of... Oh, no! The mix, mix, mix gets hit by the 2HS. Here we go with the corner pressure. Wow, goes for the setup using the RC and then resorting to using the... Uh, the, the um, that was called the Yuzon scent. Oh, okay, no entire right there from Faust. This is unfortunate. Ah, here we go with the dive counter hit. Nothing. Okay. Oh, Lord. Is he going to get the extension station? He is. And here we go with the kill. Trash bag, man. Trash bag. Trash bag on. On. Tur not tournament. <laughs> on match point, man. Set point. Set point. Holy freaking Lord. T-back sweep. <laughs> okay. Let's see if trash bag can seal the deal, man. Let's see if he can seal the deal. Very nice air right there from trash bag. Good Lord. So many Faust players today. I'm so happy. Best Faust super, though. Yeah, it is. It is by far. Okay, here we go with the side switch. Good stuff with the cross-up. Unfortunately, air to air in favor of Nidus. And this is going to do a lot of damage. It goes for the reset. No punish right there, but it's still okay. It was a, far, it was, um, a late RC, actually. It was a, you couldn't punish it. That being said, here we go with the... Again, set point. Let's see if Trash Bag can seal the deal. He catches the bag that she hit again with the overhead of Trash Bag. Uh, yeah, of Faust. Oh, no. You hate to see it. Here we go to the corner. The pressure. Yes, the corner pressure right now. Okay, finally. Punishes it. Hits it with the freaking overhead, man. It's been catching. Night, this is so much. And little Faust to save the dad. Very nice use of, of the, uh, the, what's it called? The, the burst right there to get rid of the meteors, actually. Oh, oh no. 
Oh no, Nidus! No, he drops it! You hate to see it! Don't drop it! No, you don't want to drop it get it against Nidus, so you definitely don't! He goes for the side switch, man! He goes on the side trip! Is it gonna be a... No! You hate to see it! Oh, here we go! Ooh, oh, where is he? <laughs> that was crazy! Good stuff by Trash, but he actually manages to take it, man! 3-1, to one, and he said... Next match is gonna be Ice versus RF, so Ice, a very strong Eno player, by the way. Uh, I have had the honor to play against him, uh, well, in tournament and also online, generally speaking. Extremely strong Eno player, so let's see how this pans out. He rocked the blue Eno and I rocked the, the red Eno, so we kind of have a, a rivalry, him and I, so it's pretty cool. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the knockdown by Ice. I managed to find the opening with the, uh, the, the, what's it called, the, um, the, the empty low. Here we go with the, oh, no, the Yoko Kemi, but nobody's home, and... Ice unfortunately has to deal with the corner pressure. This is gonna be huge. Here we go with the quick dust. No burst. Oh, and he manages to bait the burst. You hate to see it. Uh, 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 that being said, here we go with. Uh, oh, good stuff by RF. Finally finds. Ah, uh, yeah. This is really hard to deal with. Uh, unfortunately, the chemical love gets hit. Okay, he's trying to put a note on the ground so that he can advance safely against RF and RF, disrespecting the other. <laughs> Mashing P, but it still works, so that's that that's that was a, a pretty good read. And here we go, finally the counter hit. Fortunately, there's the bomb. Not too far to get anything in RF. Uh, backs away a little bit and then resorts to using the dive to uh, punish the uh, chemical attempt right there. Very nicely done, but ooh, that 6P was really cheap. Good stuff by our eyes. He goes for empty low. I sang Oh no! And RF aware of the new buffs of Eno and knows when to press the the Went to press the jab right there. Ah, oh, unfortunately, he dropped. I think he could have juggled with another close S, but it's still, he probably knows better than I do. Anyways, here we go. Ah, oh, here we go with the mid tail. Unfortunately, four. Ice, he gets hit. Ah, he's gonna have to, yeah. Oh, that was a really well-timed. That was such a well-timed, uh, a well-timed, uh, Fortissi moment. Not gonna lie. And again with the, ah, uh, the dive and the little Faust for the kill, man. Little Faust protected his father. Okay, our F is up one to zero. Let's see if Ice can actually bring it back. We shall see. We shall see. Not a very funny match for, uh, you know, I'm really not gonna lie. Yes, I am biased. What of it? <laughs> what of <up? laughs> I mean, said, here we go with the corner pressure by RF. Ice has to get out of it. Unfortunately, he trips on the banana and gets hit by the, uh, the overhead of uh, RF. That being said, here we go with the knockdown. Oh, here we go, the dive, Ice uh, pushing RF on the trumpet, by the way. Ah, uh, this is really unfortunate for Ice, he has yet yeah, to hold it. Here, RF with the, ah, uh, the burst safe setup right there. Gets the corner, uh, the wall break, and the kill, incidentally. Very nicely done by RF in the lead. One to, uh, one match, one round to nil. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice air to air again by RF, really keeping Ice out of the, uh, well, out of, uh, out of range. Oh, again with the banana, you hate to see it, Ice. Ah, again with the dive, though, from RF, it's been hitting all the time, Ice. And RF not taking to the, uh, not taking to, um, to, to the air, actually, a lot. <clears throat> okay, and here we go, ah, very nice OTG from RF. Oh, no, you cannot, yeah, you can't do this anymore. Uh, and again, Mini Faust, man. Mini Faust is so annoying. <laughs> but good stuff from RF, man. Really keeping Ice out. And Ice, he has such problem. Oh, no. And gets hit by the... Oh, by the, um, the militia. By the militia. And RF is up to the zero. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. Mankind. Okay, and on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice. Uh, Yoko Kemi. Yo, Tiger Pop, how you doing? No, you're not too late. This is the second match, I think. So you're definitely, you're, you're good, don't worry. We have a long time ahead of us. And uh, we have TY in the tournament, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. We have TY, we have RF, we have Mugi. So Mugi, who is also a uh, top aider from the uh, Arc Revo that took place a couple of months ago. We have Akihira also, very good, uh, very strong, uh, what's it called? Uh, what what uh, what character is it? Nagoriyuki. Then we have DJ Hameyama, who is a very strong uh, Giovanna player, who also made top eight, I, I believe. 
in our cradle. If I'm, uh, if I'm, if it's not the case, please correct me. But yeah, we have a lot of people today. I'm really looking forward to it. That being said, here we go with RF already on set point. Let's see how this pans out, man. So uh, the the pain, the pain. Me as a Nino player, I can only see pain right now. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Here we go. I almost got some sort of pressure, but RF, man, he's not get letting up, man. It's no, no, and the quake. The quake does, man. Oh, he go for optimization station combo. He wants the corner pressure. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. That was a bad burst, and he gets hit by the bomb. This is so unfortunate. And just like this, RF takes it. None other than you, Capetto versus Atemu. So you, Capetto, rocking Kai, whereas... Uh, Atemu is rocking Nagori Yuki. Nagori Yuki, who has recently been a little bit nerfed, just a tad bit. Well, quite, quite a bit, actually. I personally feel, but that doesn't start Atemu from starting the round with an immediate Beyblade counter hit. <laughs> that being said, here we go with Atemu, man. Atemu, very, very fan of just going completely ham and never really minding uh, blood exploding right in the middle of the round, sometimes several times. But this might uh, not play in its favor, especially during this patch. Oh, very nice block right there on the Quick Dust by Atemu. Oh, that would punish though. Oh, oh, that was schmexy. That was pretty good. And here we go with the Ford Fukio into the uh, DP from Atemu. Very nicely done. He gets the kill. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. And you got Beto smelling that Atemu is going to go for it. Uh, the command grab and he immediately punishes, well, catches uh, Atemu off guard and uses the uh, fully charged dust for a very optimal punish, by the way. That did a ton of damage, and this should actually do good stuff for Mika, but it takes it back just like this. So let's see if Atemu can actually weather this comeback storm. No entire on the jump in. Okay, that was an unfortunate stun dipper right there. Atemu was definitely on point when he came to punishing it. And here we go with the Beyblade and even gets a close S for the uh, follow-up, and this should do. This is gonna kill. Wow, that, that that lasted what? That lasted like 15 seconds, I think? That's crazy. That was so quick. That was so quick. Good stuff from Atemu manages to take the first match. Let's see if Yuka Pero can uh, turn things around and possibly like reverse the momentum right there because it is heavily in favor of uh, Yuka Pero. Of, of, uh, of Atemu, I'm sorry. And here we go. That's Sunday again. That was unfortunately uh, time well spaced. There we go, the 2 HS. Fortunately for Yuka Pedo, he blocked it. There we go, the close pressure. Uh, very nice entire right there. Atemu on point with the entire. Oh, what? Wake up, HS. That was that was wild, yo. That was really wild. Good stuff from Yuka Pedo. He goes for the grab. No extension, no bar to extend. And goes for a setup to get the uh, immediate midi grab. He goes for it. Oh, with a quick dust for the kill. Nicely done by Yuka Pedo. Okay, looking good, looking good. Not gonna lie. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see how this pans up. We go the second round and the round start with the 4K of Atemu into Beyblade. Oh lord, that was an unfortunate DP. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at this. Oh lord. And the overdrive for optimal uh, optimal situation and uh, and damage and and overall like uh, yeah, good decision making. He's gonna get the hard knockdown with the positive bonus. Oh, goes for the clone. Oh, and that uh, that two S. Add that to us and he takes it with a perfect only lord. That was a very nice answer right there from Atemu. Both players, both players, so, they are so explosive. It's so crazy. Good stuff from both players right there. They had exactly the same idea. Just, <laughs> just run up 6p into their optimal like follow-up. And here we go. But Yukavaro does have the advantage right there. He's going to get an optimal combo. Here we go the wall break. <clears throat> Okay, here we go, the 2S, 2S, which I, uh, which has been nerfed in this, oh, no, too far for the command grab, but still, okay, he's got the 2S counter hit, yeah, it's still not over, it's not over, you cannot, you cannot count Nagoriyuki out, but that being said, look at Atemu, his, yeah, his blood gauge was almost full, he could not, like, use any special right there, he had to commit to, like, uh, very, like, um, archaic, not archaic, but very basic, like, uh, pressure because he didn't have access to his full uh kit that being said here we go man you got Pero. not afraid man just right in the face of atemu forcing him in the corner and my lord atemu man with the forward fukio into the uh zaramayuki no zaramayuki is the clone so it's the uh well the dp i forgot how you call it that being said here we go man oh lord <laughs> and the blood explosion is here oh lord no what are you doing 
What are you doing? You cannot dash forwards, man. You cannot. SCA gang currently being called into brackets. Oh no, he walked into it. He definitely did, man. And here we go with the pressure. Boom! He's gonna get the wall break. Very nicely done by Atemu. Good stuff, man. Oof! Oof! Oh no, here we go with the stun dipper. He's gonna force Atemu in the corner. Very nice counter hit. Oh, look at the optimal combo. He's gonna go. No, no right to lightning here. Decides to keep. His, uh, his, uh, his, uh, bar from something else. Oh, again, how did it hit? How did it hit? He was behind you. <laughs> that being said, oh, no, he forced the, oh, Lord. Oh, he's going to stun the fur. And this is going to be death with the right the lightning, probably. Yeah. Right the lightning, dude. Kaboom. Get out of here. <laughs> Good stuff from you, Capital. Puts one round as well. We are in perfect equality right now. Perfect parity. One match, one round each. So let's see how this goes. Oh, Lord, the wake up DP from you, Capero. No, disrespect. Run up, fully charged. Dust, man, the disrespect is real. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, the badly timed meteor right there from Atem. Unfortunately, he gets grabbed in again with the dust, man. You Capero is the dust master. I'm going to call him such, like, seriously. The dust master. He gets the wall break. Oh, Lord, in the trade once again. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was crazy. Good stuff from Atemu. He steals it by the skin of his teeth, man. That was good stuff. Good stuff from Atemu. Puts one on the board. You can feel. You can feel the, you can feel the aggressivity, man. I can feel it right, right through the screen. It's so crazy. Anyways, that being said, here we go with the air to air in favor of Yukapeno. Unfortunately, he got hit by Atemu on his way down. Very nice take from both players. Oh, that back dash, though. Good back dash from Matemo. Managed to get out a little bit out of the pressure, but still. Still, man, Stun Dipper for the win. It is some enemy round, man. Japanese player right here, man. <laughs> They're living up to their name. Oh, no. And again with the wake up CP from you, Capito. This man is wild. He is wild. Okay, here we go with the jump in again. Is this going to be enough? No. No. He gets side switch. Oh, and he gets killed. No, that was so unfortunate. Good stuff from Atemu, man. That was good stuff, good stuff. Still managing to stay alive, man. The decision making of Atemu to like backdash at really, really clutch moments is what is making the difference in this matchup right now, I feel. Because they're they're basically playing exactly the same, very aggressive, very in-your-face type of way, but only Atemu sometimes, sometimes he has like this speck of genius and just backdash. You can see it right now. But right now, unfortunately, he hasn't been like uh, having some good decision making though <laughs> now here we go enemy <laughs> oh lord you do not get to do this man again no oh lord he committed oh lord wait it's not over not over oh here we go with the 2s for the kill by you capital you capital staying alive man he absolutely needs this round if he wants to see the winner's bracket Again, man, with the Beyblade. Oh, no, he goes for the dust. The lack of respect. The disrespect. The disrespect. Again with the Beyblade, man. You need to be careful. Look at your bar. Look at your bar. Careful. Oh, no. Stop backdashing. You got better. Careful. Careful. He cannot use super. He cannot use special, man. It's your time. Yes, you're going to jump in. Oh, he got the shimmy. He got the shimmy. Oh, he would try to go for a burst bait. Oh, was that burst sync? That was so crazy. That was so crazy. And this is gonna do it! This is gonna do it! We're going on to the last match of... Well, the last match, actually. Good stuff from you, Capital brings it back, man! That was crazy! Good lord! I bet whoever wins will get a character development moment. Exactly, man. I definitely trust this. Oh, this is crazy! Anyways, here you go with the pressure, man. Ah, Atemu with the 4HS. Couldn't quite get anything out of it. And again with the run-up grab. But no, Atemu is ready for the tech. Here you go with it. Atemu holding on to his burst, man. Not wanting to let up. <laughs> okay, careful there. Okay, we're good. Oh, Lord, and the 2D of Kai was actually a little bit uh, quicker to come out. And here we go to wake up. Ride the lightning. Ride the lightning. I don't care. Oh, he goes for the quick dust, man. Dust, man. I'm going to call him this, man. Seriously. You cut dust. <laughs> dust pillow. <laughs> oh, good Lord. And here we go to trade yet again. <laughs> And that time, man, Yuka is on match point, man. He is set point. Is he going to take it? We're going to see. Here we go with the 2S. Oh, Lord, he couldn't quite get it, man. This is so unfortunate. Oh, you're going to jump in. 
unfortunately couldn't quite get the extension and the recognition from Atemo. No! My kid with the kill! Oh, this is a red line! <laughs> This is definitely this instance of, okay, you did it to me, I'm gonna do it to you. This is definitely out of spite right there. This is definitely out of spite, and here we go! We're going on to the last round of the last match, ladies and gentlemen. This is so hype, and we're only, like, on the third match of tonight. We're not even in semifinals yet. This is crazy. Look at this. Look at this pressure, man. Look at this ag aggressive... No, and the DP! You got middle, no! Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it, man. Oh, oh, this is not over. No, it's not over. He's gonna have a speck of life. A speck of life, man. I'm fighting Joker Slayer and Losers 2 and me now. Oh, Lord. Oh, no! Oh, the dog dash! The dog dash was so much! Here we go with you, Capito. He's gonna extend it. No! No, he drops it! No! Not like this! Not like this! So that's why he's a very strong player. <laughs> that being said, here we go, Akira versus Takarin. Here we go, here we start. This is gonna be a very, very nice match. Aerial first round. Here we go, the jump in, and Takarin trying to put some distance between him and Akira. Akira still being very, very respectful, doesn't want to commit too much. Try to go for an entire red there, 2 4 for the uh, standing kid to connect. Ah, and the big counter hit right there from Takarin, but nobody was home. Well, actually, he forced Akira to bump the burst. Very nice with punishes right there from Takarin san. Committing to the 2 uh, HS on reaction uh, from the uh, standing HS width of Akira. Very nice shimmy, if we might say. Oh no, he drops the combo. This is unfortunate. Akira does have one more chance to try to get out of the corner. Tries to really take his time. He gets hit by the standing K, uh, the standing P. Oh, from Takarin and Takarin not. Yeah, Takarin just pressing button right there, managed to get the hidden and the kill. Takarin takes the first round. Oh, that big... Oh no, he almost got the bait on the burst right there, that was really unfortunate. Takarin delaying uh, his burst is, is uh, specifically to not get hit by... Well, to not get uh, baited by by this, uh, this burst bait. There we go, yeah, this is a very, very harsh matchup for, yeah, for Nagori Yuki, as you can see. Probably the worst matchup for Nago. Uh, oh Lord! And he used the uh, he used the, uh, the jumping D to delay his uh, downfall. That was really nice. Very up oh, no! And the clash and but no, he couldn't quite get it. Uh, can he? Oh no! And the back dash for the kill. Good stuff from Axel uh, from Takanin actually. Takanin managed to take the first round, the first match actually. Good stuff. So let's see if Akira can bring the adjustments necessary in order to. Uh, well, to, to bring it back, basically, you know? Here we go with... Ah, good lord, and the jump in right there from Akihira! Oh, and he gets the hit with the DP right there. That was a huge counter hit. By the way, he goes for the jump in, and Takarin san just really... Doesn't, he doesn't really even care. He just waits for him to land and just grabs him. Of course. <laughs> Here we go with Takarin, trying to really put some distance right there. And uses the RC to make whatever he uh, pressed safe. Again with the 2HS. Trying to keep Akira out of the, uh, well, out of his range. Wow, yep. Good stuff right there from Akira. I guess the hit with, oh, oh, you can actually do this? This is not going to kill, right? No, it's not, yeah. Yeah, the proration was a little bit too high right there. Too many combos. I didn't could actually uh, combo. Ooh. Oh lord, he almost got the, the hit. Okay, here we go, Akira. Oh, and he gets a kill with the two guys. Good stuff from Akira. Finally puts one on the board, one round that is. Ah, that bait, man. That bait. The 6 speed bait right there. Oh, oh, and again with the DP calorie. Oh, is he gonna get. Wow, that was, that was, that was crazy good. Look at the damage. Oh, holy freaking lord. Good lord. Okay, here we go with the grab. Akira looking good right there. Almost got the punish on the, the, the back dash. Unfortunately, yeah, Akira was... Oh, no. Takarin was a little bit too on point. Again, Takarin with the back dashes, man. Oh, no. You hate to see it. It's, it's not going to kill, though. No. Ah, he gets the kill with the jump back uh, HS. That was good stuff from... Takarin recognizing that Akira was most certainly gonna go for the command grab because he was on the verge of popping. So let's see Akira. Yeah, he still has uh, this huge mountain to climb. Not a funny matchup. He gets the hit with the clone. 
Uh, I tried to go for the jump in, but yeah, Takarin was on point right there. And tires uh, accurately he uses the Lens and the Aki to keep him out. Very nice take right there from Akira. <laughs> that was crazy good. I'm gonna lie up now, and he just popped it. Kaboom! Bye bye. Oh, no, he's not gonna kill. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, you have this follow up as well. Was I didn't know. The more you know. And again, man, the recognition of Takarin as soon as Akira throws a, a clone out. You can see Takarin just jumping and doing a, a backwards IED and immediately punishing the uh, forward Fukio attempt of Akira. Uh, all, the, all the free that he's been doing this like a couple of times, like at least two or three times. Oh, very nice. Oh, counter hit right there from Akira. That was a nice trade, but back to the neutral game. The neutral game that Takani absolutely adores for obvious reasons. I go with the rainwater. He tries to bait the birds, but no, Akira is being very, very respectful. Knows that, yeah, that was probably gonna be a burst bait attempt. Oh, no one shown, but the closest is here to save the day. No, no, this is so unfortunate for Akira. He gets hit by the command grab. And again with the shimmy attempt right there. No, that was a bad tweet, Jets. From Akihira, yeah, gets hit by the standing K, the standing P, that was checkmate situation. And just like this, we are on set point. Let's see if Akira can manage to bring it back. Very nice Lin Sengeki right there from Takarin. Wants to keep Akira out. Again, the clone is here. You have to respect the clone. Ah, uh, here we go. Pressure is real. Takarin still holding on to, not pressing any button. Doesn't get hit. Oh my lord, the recognition station, man. Recognization station, man, from Takani finally. Oh no, and that bag dash, man, from Takani. This has been really doing him favors. And again, for the Rinsen Geki, yeah, Akira cannot. Yeah, yeah, doesn't have the resources necessary to. Uh, uh, oh lord! Can't commit. Oh, okay. Oh no, he gets air grab. Are you serious? And back to the neutral game, man. Takani, you cannot. No! What? what? What was that? What was that? None other than Hyoki versus Mugi. We are still in the winner's bracket. This is the final uh, match before the semifinals. So let's see how this pans out. I think this is the first participation of Hyoki to my tournament, actually to the Brojo Cup. So let's see how this pans out. I am fairly sure that everything will be uh, completely fine. He's a very strong Lewis player. I have uh, had the pleasure of finding him on the uh, Celestial floor uh, very often by the way so I'm definitely and he's very just very strong it really goes either way but uh, when he gets his gear started it's it's just really hard to, to to do anything against him so let's see how this pans out here we go with the Wasude Yuki for the wall break it's probably only gonna kill no it's not okay thank you guts we go with the hard knockdown though yeah Shoki has to hold it and unfortunately for this damn Mugi on a freaking Steamroll right there gets the perfect on the first start of the round. That being said, here we go with Yoki. Very nice start of the round forces. We need to pop the burst. Here we go with Yoki, committing to uh, defending. Unfortunately, gets yeah hit on his way up. Here we go with the oh lord. Ah, kore shiteru, kore mita. Kore tsuita de mita yo. I saw this. <laughs> I saw this. Uh, this setup on Twitter like earlier today. <laughs> I saw this setup on Twitter earlier today. <laughs> ah, that was so funny. I knew. I knew he was gonna go for this. I knew as soon as he popped it. I knew he was gonna go for it. I don't know why. Kore tsuita de mimashita ima no. Good stuff from Shoki. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, this is not gonna hit though. Ah, damn, we we're gonna see a lot of damage right there, probably. Oh, no! That was sick! That was sick from Mugi, man! That was so sick! Okay, Mugi tried to go for the quick uh, burst, but that, uh, the quick dust. But that being said, tell my to seal the deal right there. Ah, that was crazy, man. That was so good. That was so good. Good lord. <laughs> it's fun to see them incorporate stuff that they literally, like, learn, like, a couple of hours before. That was really crazy good. Okay, here we go with Yoki. Yeah, trying to get the hit with the... Behemoth right there, unfortunately, he got put into uh, yeah, a pressure position. An immediate cancel into the overdrive by Mugi is gonna get the wall break. That was sick though, that was so sick. There's a big wall break right there into hard knockdown pressure by Mugi is gonna get a very good Okizeme. Ah, forces Yuki to pop the burst. Okay, here we go, the mine. <laughs> the neutral eraser, as I like to call it. Uh, and here we go, Lord. Oh, Mugi, I think you might have committed to one too many. Oh, it's okay. He's gonna get the kill with the quick 
dust into the RC right there. Okay, on to the next. Uh, uh, on to the next round, and unfortunately, that was a strange. Uh, a strange. Oh, Lloyd and the walk up grab right there from Moogie. Not afraid. Okay, he's gonna get again the corner. Fresherman just committing to these uh, very annoying. These very annoying um, uh, jabs right in front of Yoki to force him to like press buttons right there. And again with the mine. Yeah, you have to respect it. Very nice 6 right there from Mugi. Ah, he's gonna get a corner carry combo. He goes with the jump in. Ah, he tried to 6 feet, but a little bit too late. <laughs> he's gonna go for it again. Ah, this time around. Unfortunately, Mugi did have the uh, yellow Roman uh, cancel to. Oh no, you don't want to backdash on this. That was a, unfortunately bag dash, but that means it now you're going to grab and he's gonna get the kill with the OTG. Good stuff from Moogie up two to zero actually. Good lord, what is Yoki gonna do? What is he gonna do? Damn, this is actually pretty tight, not gonna lie. It can go either ways, like seriously. It's just that I think uh I think that uh Moogie not Moogie, Shoki has a little bit of problem to try to force his game upon um uh, on, on Mugi right now, so yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes. My god, just wanna lend that setup, exactly. <laughs> he just he just wanted he just wanted to lend, lend that setup. He tried to do it a second time, but unfortunately Mugi had the wire seed this time around. Yeah, but it's okay, it's okay. Maybe he's gonna do it again. Lewis swipe, I believe, me too. Oh lord, that was a big Yeah, counter hit. He's gonna do a lot of pressure, a lot of damage, unfortunately. And here we go with the Oh lord. And here we go with the wall break, man, and the hard knockdown, and Moogie just, yeah, just content to take his, uh, to, to, to zone, basically. Ah, here we go, the 6 he was looking for it, man. And Shioki just pops the... Oh! Oh, Lord! Yeah, you have that, yeah, you don't want to get close to me, you're gonna have to, oh, what? That 6 was crazy? Shioki getting a little bit angsty right there, goes for the cross-up, and I ah, too far to seal anything. Goes for the, oh, again, with the, uh, with the overhead. Very nice back dash right there from Moogie managed to get out of harm's way. Okay, here we go. Oh, and Moogie with the four. The four. The, the whip four with punish right there. That was crazy. Good good stuff from Moogie. He is on set point. Oh, Lord. This is unfortunate. Okay, here we go. With the knockdown by Shoki, he's going to get some... Oh, no. Wake up, Goldberg. You hate to see it. Okay, Moogie just walking forward, man. Uh, no entire right there, and Moogie uses the RC to switch sides with Yoki. This time around, Yoki is gonna have to deal with the pressure. Yoki using a lot of RC, right? There, a lot of uh, a lot of bar in order to yeah prevent Moogie from getting close to him. We'll get the knockdown. And he goes for the side switch. Yet with the jump D IAD into the behemoth for the kill. Good stuff from Yoki. Finally, finally gets something going. Let's see if you can seal it in, my lord, that big DP start of the round right there. Too far to get the extension of the juggle. Very nice command grab right there from Moogie. He's gonna get the corner. Ah, oh, the corner. Ah, oh, the corner. Oh, Lord finally forces Shoki to pop the burst. Ah, uh, you can see, yeah, Moogie looking for the jump in. <gasps> what? That Fukio into four there. Word Fukio into the command grab. And again, the command grab too late for school. Oh, no. And again with the 6P, man. Very nice, uh, very nice. Oh lord. Ah, uh, yeah, this things are, oh, yeah, things look pretty dire for you can just like this. Maybe he takes it a clean three to the tournament, actually. He's gonna face Ken Ken. Oh, and Zij actually, uh, defeated Ken Ken. So he's still in the tournament. If he wins his next match, Zij is in the top eight. <laughs> I'm gonna join as watcher, no problem, no problem. Okay, that being said, here we go. Start of the match. Takarin versus RF. I do believe that last time these two have fought. Takarin did take it back. Home, so let's see if he can manage to do so this time as well. Very nice. Lin Sengeki catches RF out of the air. And here we go with RF using the spear into the uh, the, the fishing rod. The, 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 not the fishing rod. The spear. Yeah, the spear into the fishing rod into the golf. Uh, the golf. The, how do you call that? The golf. The golf, the golf stick? I have no idea how you call it. Anyways, to being said first, round two, RF takes it very, very convincingly. <clears throat> the golf club, thank you very much, Tiger. <laughs> the golf club, yes. And that being said, here we go back to the neutral, and you can see RF trying to make his way ever so slightly to Takanin, but Takanin is really doing a good job to just get out of harm's way. 
where he did benefit from the trumpet. Unfortunately, RF already had taken to the air to try to get out of the pressure. And here we go. Yeah, both are poking each other as hell, man. Once you get that knockdown, that sweet, sweet knockdown. RF. Oh, here we go with RF again with the spear. Doesn't get the uh, maximized, uh, the maximum combo. I think it was probably intentional so he can possibly get a Nokizeme. Uh, from not doing the, uh, the the best version of the, of the follow up, mm, should be stu studying for real. For yeah, me too, man. Tiger, what are you doing? Yeah, that being said, here we go with the snail, and you can see Arf deciding not to uh, to Arf deciding not to uh, run towards his opponent right after blocking the snail. The reason being that Takarin had uh, some tension bar right there, not, uh, and he could actually decide to uh, Roman cancel and make his snail like. Uh, safe and then punish the punish attempt of Arth. But that being said, here we go. Arth finally popped the burst, and here we go with the extension station. There is the bomb. Yeah, this can go really either ways, and Arth takes it with the mix, mix, mix follow up. That, that was a do or die right there. Like Arth, if uh, if Takarin had committed to blocking right there, he would have blocked the mix, 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 and then he could have uh, he could have with punished uh, he could have punished the recovery and and take this this round after. That was a really do or die moment by RF. Okay, here we go. Little Faust protects his father. No knockdown right there from RF. A good punish on the spear. Ah, he's got the Meteo. Oh, Lord. A very nice recognition station right there from Takani. Almost got the knockdown. That being said, no. Wow. Oh, that entire though using the 2S right there. <gasps> he almost got the extension with the trumpet. Uh, that that would have been sick if that was the case. That would have been so good. We go with the quick Roman cancel. He's gonna get the wall break and the little foul. <laughs> good look. That was good stuff from RF. Gonna get the wall break. Okay. Oh, and he goes for the quick teleport right there using the scarecrow and the RC. That being said, Takarin on point is gonna do the. Uh, gonna use the, 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 the world actually. <laughs> We go with the jump back and unfortunately Takarin gets scooped by the quick TP or seed by RF and gets the kill with the 2k 2d. RF on point right there. I feel like he studied the matchup ever since he lost last time. Here we go with the dive. A very nice territory by Takarin manages to hit RF out of the air. Oh lord, the cheeky. <laughs> that cheeky command grab attempt by Takarin. Fortunately, RF was on point. Hits Takarin with the spear again, and Takarin, you can see Takarin trying to get to the air to hit uh, the follow-up of the um, uh, the follow-up of uh, the dive into the hit throw <laughs> by RF. Oh, uh, the bomb, he has to respect it again with the quick scarecrow to get a side switch from RF. Yellow Roman cancel. RF had committed to uh, attacking his opponent. He should no, he couldn't quite deal it. Too far to get the OTG. Uh, and here we go with the die for the kill. RF up two to zero. Holy freaking lord! That is pretty one side. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> oh, again, here we go. Oh, again, here we go. Naniga de Lucana. RF gets the trumpet. Goes immediately for command grab. The OTG reset. The hammer time. No hammer too far to hit Takarin. Being said, here we go. Takarin in a good position right there. Uses the Lensengeki as a pressure tool. Again with the standing P man to hit RF out of the air. Yeah, Takarin noticing that RF takes to the air quite a number of time. And he's probably too far to get bursted on right there. Burst safe setup right there. He gets the kill finally. Takarin putting one on the board. With the 2k 2d gets the knockdown. Lensengeki. Nice block by Takarin. But still gets opened by the... Uh, by the sweep counter hit. Uh, this is gonna do a lot of damage actually. Here we go with RF going for the reset using the uh, command grab. <laughs> of course, he slips on the banana. You hate to see it. Yeah, you can feel like RF, yeah, he wanted to light that wick so much. Is he gonna get the kill? He is, I think, yeah. Takan just, yeah, he kind of threw it away at the end. And, uh, that being said, no, Takan still has one more round actually. Too, too. Good stuff from RF up. 2-2, two, two. yeah, he's actually on, on set point, so let's see how this pans out. 2k 2d, here we go with the knockdown, he's gonna get the Ren Sengeki. Ren Sengeki. <laughs> okay, nice blocks by Takarin. 
going really, really slow right there. He definitely does not want to lose this one. If he loses this one, then he needs to send to the loser bracket. <gasps> Finds the opening with the freaking command, bro. That was crazy. That was really good, actually. Okay, and here we go, 2k2. He probably tried to bait the burst, but yeah, our ah, our finally popped the burst right here. And the hammer man just hitting the hitboxes of Takarin's far-reaching normals. Okay, no punish on the uh, follow-up of the Scarecrow. Probably too far to do anything. And that backdash from Takarin, just like this, he gets his first match. Takarin staying alive definitely does not want to be sent to the loser's bracket. Okay, let's see if this pans out. How will this pan out? Okay, here we go. The 2HS. Nice block by RF. Hammer time! Yeah, RF making good use of the hammer to gain some... Uh, some... Um, how would we say this? Some uh, real estate. <laughs> some space from Takarin. Again with the dive. A nice punish by Takarin. Noticing that... Oh, RF didn't go for any follow-up, but this time he did. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Takarin getting hit by the bomb. And again with the backdash. In the corner, man. In the corner. Oh, good Lord. Ah, Atem-san, go sanka itadaki, arigato zaimashita. Mo, hontani ni mata, eto, jikai no taikai no go sanka wa tanoshimi shite orimasu. Ma, mo shi, yoyu ga areba desu ne. Mo, kyo wa hontani ni arigato zaimashita. Ah, good Lord. And here we go with the sweep. To the ah, Takarin in the corner, not looking too good for him. This is set point, by the way. Ah, again, Takarin hitting his opponent with the 2HS right there. Noticing that RF really wants to play the, the far away game. Try to whittle away at oh, the life of his opponent. Unfortunately, too far to get the punish on the snail. But Takarin also content to just use the. Oh no! And that quick cancel. <laughs> that was so good! No, no. <laughs> Good lord, what was that? That was so cheeky, and he gets the counter hit, and he's gonna get the kill. Good stuff, this is definitely going in the uh, highlight. This is going in the highlight, I can guarantee you. Good stuff from Takain, that was crazy, man. Okay, here we go with the hammer time again. Ah, yeah, you can see RF wanting that trumpet, give me the trumpet. The trumpet! Oh, no! Oh, no. Very nice. Trade right there in favor of RF. RF deciding not to uh, quick cancel the uh, K into the 2D right there because he knows that the follow up of the 2K uh, hits immediately and beats whatever your opponent uh, decides to press on a uh, trade. Not on a clash, actually. It's not a trade. That was pretty funny. <laughs> oh lord, that freaking 6 speed. Good stuff from Takarin. Takarin's staying alive, man. He's definitely not. Yeah, he, he's basically saying to RF. If you want this one, you're really going to have to earn it. I'm not going to make it easy. Here we go. The finally forced to pop the burst. And the close is counter. This did so much damage. No. And Takarin got... Oh, no. With the 2S. Uh, no 6P. Okay, here we go. This can go either way, man. Takarin needs this one. He wants to stay alive. Oh, he goes for the quick castle again. No, he couldn't quite get the extension. Oh, Lord. Now, nah, this is death, actually. Yeah. Good stuff from Takari, man! Takarin staying alive! Staying alive, bro! 2-2, two to two, and we're going on to the final match. This is the absolute final match of this set. Takarin refusing to die. <laughs> yeah, it's really the case, man. He was down, like, he was on set point twice in a row. Uh, well, two, two matches in a row, and he refused to die. <laughs> okay, good conversion right there from RF, though. Almost got the, uh, the, the wall break, but yeah, Takarin was forced to pop the burst to get out of harm's way. Oh lord, that grab though. Here we go, the jump in. And the snail. Too far to get the... Uh, the, uh too far to get the, 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 the punish. Oh, very nice. Uh, just defend right there, just block. Using the uh, DFD to put some distance between RF and, uh, and himself. Again with the, uh, the Scarecrow to side switch and get out of harm's way. Well, to get out of the corner, really. Here we go with the, the, with the world! Is he gonna get the wall break? Oh no! Oh no, rainwater time! Good stuff from Takani using the rainwater to actually bait the burst. That was crazy good. Good stuff from Takani. Takani on point, man. Takani definitely like woke up like at, at, at a very, very great timing right now. And this time around, RF is actually on uh, on game point. 
Jetzt sind beide Senlengeki. Lensengeki, not Senlengeki. Here we go, Lensengeki again. Talking in just content, man. To just press buttons. Oh, and here we go, the punish with the 2k, the standing k. Here we go, the jump in. And finally finds the opening with the quick dust. Oh, he almost got the uh, the bait on the YRC. You can see that uh, RF actually had RC'd himself, but a little bit too late to actually uh, have the time to block the YRC uh, area of effect of uh, of the YRC. <laughs> there we go, and just like this, man, Takarin is so close to taking it. He takes it with the 2K. Takarin with the comeback, yo. One another one, but that being said, it's okay. Here we go, Mugi versus TUI, a battle of the titans. Mugi, an extremely strong Nagori Yuki player. What? Ah, and TY, of course, rocking. Uh, yeah, he's not always rocking Giovanna. He uh, has a tendency to rock uh, Chip as well, so let's see how this pans out. I'm going to take pressure right there. Very nice. Oh, very. Oh, both players stay out of each other's reign. Very nice. Uh, take pressure from both. Finally, Mugi finds the opening. He goes for the OTG. Doesn't overextend because he knew that his blood gauge was about to pop right there. With the grab from TY, he's gonna get the corner pressure. Oh lord, and that recognition station from Mugi. Doesn't have much leeway to use special attacks right there, and TY goes for the overhead. Okay, no RC. Oh, again with the overhead, and this should do. Yeah, this is gonna do. Good stuff from TY. He's gonna get the first match. Well, the first round, actually, very convincingly. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, here we go with the uh, 2k 2d. He's gonna go for the save jump. And again with Mugi, man. Oh, man! And TY not afraid to press buttons right there. Goes for the overhead. And again, immediate cancel into the overdrive. Oh, Totoy, come on! <laughs> He's gonna get the hard knockdown. Okay, this time around with it again with the tick pressure, man. You can see. What is Mugi gonna do? Mugi has been blocking for. Oh, man! He's going for the. He's going for the reset pressure from... Oh, uh, Lord. Is this going to do? I think it is. It is not, actually. Good stuff from TY again, man. I never want to hear Chip Player sing the character songs. <laughs> it's understandable. And just like this, TY takes the first match very convincingly. What is Mugi going to do? Mugi sticking to his guns and sticking to Nagori Yuki. And here we go. Forced to pop the burst. Good Lord. Oh, the recognize oh, that recognition, man. Good stuff from uh, Mugi. That conf confirm was crazy, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Mugi going for damage right here. Gets the wall break. Oh, this is the uh, what is it? Is it semifinal? Oh no, that that's uh, the semifinal. Okay, we're good, we're good. Again, okay, here we go with the grab for the kill by Mugi. Good stuff. Finally puts one on the board. Oh, good lord, he gets the hit with the 6P. I tried to go with the cheeky Roman can the, the, the command grab, but unfortunately, TY was aware of it. He's gonna get a very nice corner carry combo. He's going for the jumping 2K. And again with the overdrive. Oh, no, Charlie, come on! <laughs> I love this super. Okay, and here we go with the corner pressure again. And TY has the positive bonus, so it's basically. Oh, no, what was that? That was unfortunate. Oh lord, the god oh, the speed of this character. TY with the cross up and <laughs> and runs straight into the standing. <gasps> okay, still not over till it's over. Ah, and he just like this Mugi is gonna take it, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, Mugi still staying strong. Puts one on the board as well. We have a match. They always do. <laughs> yes they do. Is TY going to switch to his uh to, to uh, sweet, sweet Giovanna, we shall see. We shall see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Giovanna, maybe. No Giovanna? Yes, Giovanna? No Giovanna. Okay, he sticks to chip. Okay, okay, let's see how this went out. He dropped the swag combo. He did, he did. Okay, here we go. First blood by TY with the 2K 2D. Okay, TY looking to try to, uh, to punish the. To whip punish uh, Mugi's 2S. Okay, here we go with Mugi, and this should actually kill. No! You hate to see it! Is this gonna kill? This is gonna kill, isn't it? Yeah, this is gonna. Oh, no, it's not, actually. Ah, uh, with the YRC. 
Ah, uh, he tried to go with the swaggy combo right there, and here we go with the overhead for the kill by TY. Good stuff. Digs the first round of this third game, but he does suck. Ah, nah. Nah, he doesn't. Well, I don't think he does, actually. In Japan, I think they put, yeah, they, they consider Chip to be the strongest character in the game, actually. If I'm if I'm correct, actually. Most players, like, tend to believe that Chip is actually the, uh, the strongest character in the game. I personally disagree, but uh, I think, uh, well, uh, me as a Westerner, I do believe that, I do think that Happy Gals is the strongest player in the game, but uh, the strongest character in the game, but yeah, you know, to each his own. But it's funny to see all of the variations of, uh, you know, different, uh, of, uh, of um, different regions. Oh, again, here we go with the uh, challenge right here from Mugi gets the kill. Oh, yeah, we have a Nago. We have a Nago almost every match, but Chip is the strongest piece. Yeah, yeah, well, oh, the, the, I think the, the top eight is going to be the most representative. Uh, because right now, let me check, let me check. So we have RF in, in top eight right now. Huh? Uh, we have in the semifinals, we had a Faust, a Axel, and the winner's semifinal, okay? So one Faust, one Axel, one Nagoriyuki, and one Chip, basically. And in the loser's bracket, we have one Nagoriyuki, one Jacko, one Giovanna, and one uh, one Ino, actually. So we only actually have two Nagoriyuki in the top eight. The rest is uh, like everything else. It's a different character. So it's actually... Mm, but it doesn't mean that Nago is bad at all. But it doesn't mean that Nago is not strong. It, the, the Jacko is called Hia... I don't know. Hagiara. It's another new Jackal player, man. It's a new Jackal player. It's crazy. We have so many Jackal players participating to this tournament. It's crazy. Every single time we discover a new one. Japanese player, by the way. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see he's uh, he's pretty good. Well, they're pretty good. So we'll see how how, how this, this uh, pans out. Uh, anyways, here we go with the burst by TY. Uh, and yeah, uh, Hustafa, I'm sorry I didn't read you correctly. Yes, you uh, said that... We have more Nago like in the top eight than Chip, so therefore it doesn't make sense that Chip is the strongest. But I think like uh, uh yeah, I don't really know how to say. But I don't think he's the strongest. You know, I, I agree with you. I think there are way stronger characters than than Chip. But uh, I, I still think he's top tier though. I think that Chip is top tier in this version of the game. But I don't think he's the strongest. No, I, I do not think so. But that's because we have a lot of very strong chip players in Japan. <laughs> a lot of them. And not just like the, the very famous one. We actually have like, you know, uh, under the radar type types of uh, players. Which are really, really strong with chip. That's the reason why I think he's strong, but uh, not the strongest character. That being said, here we are. We are on set points. And TY currently has the lead, but just as I say, this is going to get hit by the optimization. Oh, combo! Oh, and here we go with the command grab. Oh, TY gets hit by everything under the sun, man. And just like this. <laughs> How long did this this, this round last? It like, lasted like five seconds or something. Well, ten seconds. I'm not going to exaggerate. Here we go with the... Oh, oh no, TY. That was a very bad burst. That was unfortunate, though. Okay, here we go. Finally forced to pop the burst. A very nice 6 right there from Mugi. Tried to get... The juggle with the uh, oh, and he goes for the clo the the quick dust. Is this gonna kill? Yes, it is. Bye bye. <laughs> Good lord. See why exploded right here. So is why gonna go for Geo or is he gonna stick? Oh oh, oh ladies and ladies and gentlemen, we we might see the. Geo of TY right now. This is gonna be awesome if that's the case. Yo, thank you very much for the follow, Wolf, and welcome to the Brojos. I think we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I thought there, okay. Let's see, let's see. Yes, we're gonna see uh, Giovanna. Holy freaking lord! The Giovanna of TY, man. You love to see it, perfect. I personally prefer seeing TY playing Giovanna than Chip. I feel like it's more hype than uh, the other way around. That being said, here we go! On to the final match, by the way, of this, uh, of this uh, set between these two. So let's see how this pans out. Geo Geo, yeah. V Geo. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, here we go with D take pressure from TY. Tries to go for Shemis right there, but no. Mugi not biting. With the jump in. Very nice 6P. Holy freaking lord. He lands and he 6Ps. 
find the logic. I do not know why, but Moogie, man. Moogie, 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 Moogie. I almost got the kill, though. He almost had the kill. Good lord. No. You hate to see it, the tick pressure. No, I knew we were going to grab. It's not going to be enough to kill. Oh, no. He went for the shit. The, the fuzzy, man. This is going to kill. Yes, it is. Good lord. TY takes the lead, man. We are on set point. Who is going to take it? Very nice 6 right there, and here we go with the- Oh, the pressure of his zone, man. Here we go, Moogie. Very nice start of the round. He's gonna get the wall break with the positive bonus. Okay, here we go with- Oh, perfect, perfect. Here we go with the- Take pressure. Oh, and the big 2D counter hit. TY gets the side switch with the newly incorporated buffs of Geo. Here we go with the jump at home, oh, man. And he gets it by the 6 p Hey, do you see it? Well, you would love to see it if you're TY. <laughs> That's 3k, man. 3k confirm and do the overdrive. That was sick. That was so sick. It goes for the extension, by the way. That was so sick. Good luck. <laughs> that was so sick, man. That being said, TY answering with a confirm of his own. Is this gonna kill? Oh, Lord. No cool. Uh, no, no. You ain't did it. No. no. That was so clutch! Ladies and gentlemen, we're going on to the final round of the final set of this encounter. This is crazy! Here we go, start with TY. Oh, very nice backdash. He backdashes on the freaking Beyblade. Are you serious? That was crazy. No entire right there from Moogie, but finally he gets the... Oh, he finally gets some... He gets some... Oh, offense going. Very nice dash on the recovery frames of Moogie right there. Oh, that back. To get the grab! This might be the end. Ah, and he goes for the quick dust for the kill. And TY moves on to the winner's final. Good lord. That was so freaking... Yeah. Good lord. That was so anime. <laughs> that was so anime. <laughs> anyway, there we go. First round of this... Uh, well, first match of this loser's bracket. And here we go. We have officially entered the top eight, by the way, guys. Uh, so, uh, all of the players that you are going to see from now have reached the top 8 of the Brojo Cup. Brojo Cup, one of the best online tournaments in Japan, by the way. Please, uh, please believe me. Please retweet, please like, please do whatever you need to do to, to, to validate what I'm saying right now. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying. So yeah, uh, no, but uh, every single player you will see tonight uh, have reached the, the top 8. And let me tell you, we had a lot of participants today. At like 30 uh, players, among which players uh, of the caliber of uh, TY and Moogie, so very, very strong ones. So yeah, definitely looking forward to this, uh, the reminder of this top eight. Just as I say, this Hagiata has a very, very sick pressure in the corner. Gets gonna get the ball break. Good stuff by Hagiata. Let's see how this spins out. With the 2S2K, 2HS, I'm sorry. Oopla, nope. Oh, and here we go, the 2D counter hit from Hagiata. Puts one on the board as well. Okay, the one who takes this one takes uh, the match. Okay, nice 6P right there. Akira, uh, aware that he was going to get in tired, so he decided to just block, which is the correct answer in this particular instance. Here we go with the corner pressure again with Akira, man. Look at this pressure, man. Akira! And the Jacko pressure. Not enough is said about Jacko pressure, I have to say. And here we go with the wall break. Good stuff by Akira. Akira still holding on to his boost. Ah, uh, and unfortunately, he got bait birded. He got burst baited. Good stuff from uh, Hagiara. He's gonna take the first match of this encounter. Let's see if he can keep it up or if uh, Akira has, uh, well, you know, a sub character, which I do believe he doesn't, but we will see. We'll see. Anyways. With that being said, here we go with the 2D knockdown from Hagiara. Already just hit his opponent at the start of the round, and already he's got. Him in the corner. Oh lord, you don't, you hate to see it. Oh no. Oh, very nice uh, block on the Golden Burst, by the way. But too far to get anything out of it. Uh, Hagiara still challenging uh, the pressure of Akira on Wake Up. Just pressing buttons. Ah, I guess hit by the uh, minion. Here we go with the grab. Ah, and the quick dust. Ah, he's gonna get the. Yeah, wall break, he did. Decided not to use the tension bar. Probably uh, had not enough time to confirm it. That being said, here we go back to the neutral. Oh lord! And just like this, Agiara is going to take the first round of this second match. Finishes with the Illusion, Illusion Driver. 
Good stuff by Hagyara. Get on to the next round. Okay, Akira a little bit angsty. He wants to get something started, but man, as soon as he tries to get something going on, Hagiara immediately like reverse uh, reverts the rolls, forces Akira to to block basically, and just carries him into the corner. And here we go. This is an unfortunate. Oh, meaty! But Akira also managed to grab that unfortunate meaty from his opponent. And but that being said, here we go. <laughs> the rolls are yet again reversed. Oh, and. Hagiara tried to bait the burst, but yeah, Akira didn't, uh, well, delayed it basically and made it so that Hagiara had a hard time to try to punish it. That being said, here we go, we are going on. Ah! Is Akira going to change characters? We shall see. Did Akira have a sub? I do believe that. I've never seen the sub of Akira, not gonna lie. I never, never seen it. Okay, happy chaos! Okay, okay, here we go! Here we go! There we go, Tiger, Tiger Pop! I think we're going to have to uh, need your expertise. <laughs> we're going to have to have you judge whether the Happy Chaos of Akira is good or not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just, <laughs> just do what you have to do. Good lord, I didn't know that Akira had a Happy Chaos though. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Not a lot of Happy Chaos players in Japan, by the way. We, uh, we have like maybe... We probably have about, like, big Happy Chaos players. We probably have, like, three, three, three of them. It's uh, Eno, then we have Poka, and then we have, uh, who's the other one? Um, who's the other one? Uh, uh, damn it, I forgot his name. Wait, it's en Enuo-san, Poka-san, and Moistoriga. Eto, it's, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, alone, Alone. Aron-san, yeah. Yeah, Dogura, but he doesn't really play. <laughs> Dogura, like, he, he doesn't really, like, uh, commit to uh, playing Guilty Gear. I, I think, like, all of the three Happy Chaos players that I, I talked about, they're stronger than Dogura, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the, the three biggest, like, uh, Happy Chaos players in Japan currently are, yeah, definitely Eno, Poka, and uh, Aron. Yeah, they're, they're the three best Happy Chaos players in, in Japan, I think, personally. It's my opinion. <laughs> that being said, here we go, and uh, firstly, Akira already down one round, man. Okay, and as you know, there has been a discourse between the West and the East concerning the placement of Happy Chaos on the tier list. Japan is uh, more or less convinced that Happy Chaos is low tier, currently, whereas the West is completely, like, they're completely uh, convinced that he's uh, top tier, so... You tell me, guys! <laughs> I personally think he's he's a high tier. I think he has a. I think like Happy Girls is top tier personally. But uh, but that being said, here we go. Danger, Akira. Careful, careful. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, and he gets it by the Manian. Just like this, Akira is eliminated from the. He said, "Welcome, everybody. Welcome here." And here we go on to the next battle. Is going to be none other than DJ Hameyama, who was a top eighter in the previous. Uh, the previous Arc Revel Japan. Uh, and thank you for the follow, Lapris, by the way. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Pro Joes. Uh, that being said, yes, we are uh, moving on to the next battle. And it's gonna be none other than DJ Hameyama versus Aisen. So far, DJ Hameyama definitely bringing the heat right now. Oh, unfortunately, he gets burst baited. And Ice takes this opportunity to finally get back some momentum. Wow, that not Sante though. Oh, too far to get the juggle though. And very nice confirms right there from Ice. That, yeah, uh, that uh, he was gonna get there. Oh no! And that backdash into the grab by DJ Hameyama. He's gonna get. Oh, what is gonna be this? I thought he was gonna go for a fuzzy, but it's still okay. And here we go with the kill with the fully charged dust juggle. Very nicely done. Yeah, I know, right? Hagiara has been like. <laughs> He's been farming, he's been farming the, uh, the Nagori Yuki, man. It's crazy. That being said, here we go with the dive. Ice doesn't get the follow-up, though. Ah, and he gets hit right there on the blocked uh, stroke. This is really unfortunate for him. And here we go with DJ Hameyama with the, optimize, the, the optimal combo. Unfortunately, too far to get the grab. Okay, here we go. Very nice blocks by uh, DJ Hameyama, by the way. He gets hit by the stroke, though. Here we go with uh, Ice gonna get the wall break or not again with the back dash man. It's been the bane of Ice man. It's been the bane of Ice. Very nice blocked. Oh lord, he goes for the fuzzy as well. This is crazy. Very nice whiff punishes right there and gets the kill with the jump in. 
first match goes to DJ Hameyama. Good stuff. Good lord. That was very, that was pretty one-sided, I'm not gonna lie, but that being said, we are going to see if there are going to be some adjustments from Ice or not. And here we go with the... Okay, very nice uh, empty jump. Doesn't get hit by the Inasante. <laughs> oh lord. Ah yeah, you can see Ice really fighting and really having a hard time trying to contain the aggressiveness of, of, of Hameyama right now. Here we go, the wall break finally. Finally out of harm's way, maybe? Oh lord, and that entire man. The jab entire. Here we go with the dive, man, for the kill. Maybe, yes, he goes immediately for the overdrive to seal the deal. Good stuff by Ice. Okay, on to the next one. Is DJ going to lose this one or not? We shall see. Here we go with the jump back. Forward over. Okay, finally the entire are here for Ice. Try to go for a uh, hover reset, unfortunately. Uh, DJ Hameyama did press buttons. Oh, now he gets hit by the stroke and he got made it. Nice burst. <laughs> Good stuff from Ice on the verge of taking it, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, DJ Hameyama is not out of it yet. He's gonna go for a grab. He's gonna go for the side switch. Oh, Lord. You hate to see it. Is this... This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill. Oh, luckily for Ice. Luckily for Ice, DJ Hameyama. Why did he get the punish? He could have killed with the OTG. Uh, and here we go with the Uchi. The uh, trade right there in favor of Ice. And Ice manages to bring it back. One matchup piece that was pretty intense. Not gonna lie. Good stuff, good stuff. And on to the next battle. Okay, immediate pressure right there from Hameyama. Tried to go for the Nasanta, but the Ice was already out of here. Guys, having some problems, uh, uh, how do you say? Have some problems confirming though, uh, off of the dive, but it's still good. Probably just getting warmed up a bit. There we go. Ice again with the dive. This time around uses the RC to extend. He's gonna get the wall break, but no kill. It's still okay. Let's see how this pans out. Oh man, and that forward immediately cancels into the overdrive. He's not gonna hit the wall break a little bit too far for it. Wow, the tick pressure and the challenge from Ice takes the cake right here. And Ice actually takes the lead. So let's see how this spins out. Ah, very nice use of the uh, delayed, uh, the delayed, uh, what's it called, dive to mess up with the uh, the Nasante time timing right there from Ice. You gotta get the wall break. Oh, that stroke though. Careful. Ah, oh, and he's got a very nice delayed burst right there. Even got the corner thanks to it. And again with the die, the nice. Oh, wow. That was cheeky. Good stuff from Ice. Actually manages to take the lead, man. 2 to 1. Good stuff, good stuff. And on to the next battle. DJ Hameyama needs to get something going on or he is going to be eliminated from the tournament. What is he going to do? We'll go with the Nasante trades with the aerial attack from. Uh, from 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 ice again with the dive no one home again okay you can see that ice is going for uh yeah he's going for um he's going for oasis to try to catch the backdash from dj hameyama because dj hameyama has been backdashing for his life for his life and you can see that ice inputs right after he does a hover he's basically inputs a 2d and what happens is that if ice blocks the hover the 2d won't come out but if if ice actually backdashes the, T, the 2D comes out and catches the backdash attempt from uh, from uh, from DJ Cor Corona from uh, DJ Corona from DJ Hameyama. I'm sorry, I call him DJ Corona because there's literally Corona in his handle right now. So I, I saw it and I was like, nope, it's not DJ Hameyama, it's DJ Corona. That being said, here we go on to the final potential final match in favor of Ice again with the dive man has been messing up with. <laughs> That's an unfortunate. Match. This is a very unfortunate burst, and here we go with the low, and Ice going for the wall splat tick. Oh, he went with the Megillo Mania! Mania, good shit! Good stuff from Ice, he's probably gonna take it? Yeah, yeah, it's death, it's death. Good stuff from Ice, takes it with the mega low. Good stuff. By the way, you can check him out, and his, uh, his, his channel, and, uh, his, um, his SNS is very strong, both of them. Well, Zij, Zij and Gyambo, both of them. Check him out, check them out, please. Both very strong players, both very nice persons in general as well. Just uh, check him out. And uh, that being said, <laughs> Agyara on his 
on his way to fight the fourth Nago today. <laughs> no worries, no worries, yeah, boy. I know, I know. Uh, so let's see how Hagiara manages to <laughs> manages to fight against uh, Mugi this time around. Okay, Hagiara does have the. Oh, he did get the sweep, and here we go with the corner pressure from Jacko, man. What is Mugi gonna do? Look at the risk bar. The risk. The risk. The risk. The risk is on fire. He goes for a regular grab for the kill. Good stuff. And just like this, I gotta actually manage this to take the first round of this match. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. Okay, very nice stuff from Mugi. Mugi being very patient. Ah, oh, and here we go with the 2k2d from Hagiara. Manages to get all oh, that freaking side switch with the juggle using the the minion, man. That's crazy. But that being said, Mugi does not have a lot of... Well, Mugi has a lot of... Um, his blood gauge is really high right now. He cannot afford to... Yeah, to push a lot of... To use all the special. That being said, he did the fantastic job of using the grab right there. That being said, here we go with the jump in from Hagiara. He is going to die on the quick dust from Mugi. Good stuff from Mugi. Mugi staying alive. Sometimes I think they should extend the duration of a Jocko buff. Then I see shit like that and... No, no, hell no. They definitely should not extend anything. <laughs> if anything, I think that they should make it so that the the, the... the the bar takes longer to recover and it depletes quicker when she uses more... more more minions. Like, uh, yeah, it recovers way too quick in my opinion. But it's my opinion. Like, I'm biased. I, I don't like fighting Jacko, so I'm totally biased. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Yeah, please do not buff... Yeah, please do not buff Jacko anymore. I'm really, really scared of Jacko. Like, I really am. For me, like, Jacko is, like, one buff away from completely being broken, in my opinion. I feel like they should either leave her as she is, or, or like, or, 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 uh, what's it called? Or nerf her, but definitely do not buff her, please. Please do not. No, definitely not. That being said, here we go back to the neutral, and Mugi... Ah, uh, Mugi did a good job to... Ah, uh, yeah, from, uh, from blocking all of this. Ah, uh, you can see Hagara trying to go... And uh, she get that shimmy. Oh, he could have got the kill with the RC. That being said, he gets the kill using the uh, minion. Very nicely done by Hagiara with that snipe using the minion. Oh, yeah. Jacko is freaking crazy in wing when she's played exactly right, man. Y you never get to play if uh, if she's played right. That's how, how Jacko is supposed to be played. And her win condition is, like, mad good. It's really mad good. She literally needs you to have 75% of health. No burst. And she needs just like I think probably one or one one tension bar, and chances are you're gonna die if you're in the corner. Like that that's her winning condition, I feel. And, and probably like it's crudely said, but uh, I, I feel like uh, a Jacko main could correct me on this. But this is my my impression. Yeah, basically this is a winning condition for 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 for, for Jacko in my opinion. I don't really understand why uh, they backed out. Maybe they were afraid of the wake up uh, overdrive from Mugi, I guess. That being said, here we go with the reinforcement. Try to go for the juggle using the, uh, using the, the what's it called the uh, the minions. Okay, here we go with the uh, again with the minion snipe. The minion snipe and using the newly found uh, minion buff. And Moogie actually, man, gets scaled right there again, hit by the the minions. Then went home on the 2k. Here we go, using the clone to go through the minion and uh, whatever projectiles that uh, Jacko decides to throw towards Mugi. That being said, here we go. Yeah, things are looking pretty good for Mugi right now. Oh, Lord, and that 6p was crazy good. Okay, I got gonna get the corner carry and the corner pressure as well. I think, okay, I think Hagiara is looking for the YRC. That's the reason why uh, they back off after their initial, like, onslaught. I think that's what uh, Hagira is looking for right now. Because as soon as Mugi has like bar, you can see that Hagira is really mad looking for the YRC. That, that's my impression. Yeah, you see? You see? That's what I'm talking about. That's what that's what I'm talking about. I couldn't quite get the juggle. I was talking about, yeah. He was mad looking for the YRC. Good stuff from uh, Hagira. Okay. Ah, and Mugi goes for the quick dust. Oh, Lord! And that... I know it wasn't. I know it wasn't. Uh, um, uh, I was gonna say. Um, I know it wasn't a tea bag, but the tea bag, <laughs> the tea bag bell blade for the kill. Make a minion bar recover during combo uh, during bomb and make her uh, more busted. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, Jave, I do not agree. 
But yeah, you know what? To each his own. To each his own. Because, because uh, I mean, obviously, if if you like playing Jacko and you, yeah, obviously, if you play the character, you want your character to be as strong as possible. You know. So I feel like okay, you, you're you're allowed to say it, but I mean, most people won't be happy <laughs> with it. But it's okay. You do you, man. That being said, Rigo with the Elysian Driver for the kill by Hagiara, man, and takes the uh, the second match actually. Good stuff from Hagara. He's on the verge of actually taking it and eliminating me, by the way. Shoot this man. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Good lord. Just give just give Jacko a shotgun, I say. If Happy Chaos can get like two guns, then at least Jacko can get a shotgun, right? Don't you think? I'm kidding, but for real, she's finally good. She struggled before. Yeah. I feel like uh very first season she struggled. Okay, I agree with you. Or when she came out at first. But as soon as they made it so that her bar was full at the start of the round uh you know her uh, what's it called her minion bar is full at the start of the round i felt like she started to get already pretty good <laughs> i would settle for a knife yeah a knife would be also pretty good for her that being said yeah you can see moogie having a very nice life lead right there and gets the kill with the 4h has good stuff from moogie staying alive but still 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 in dire straits still needs to bring it back too if he wants to at least uh, put you know the stay stay in the stay in the match very nice challenge again by Hagiara gets the grab and the corner pressure okay here we go yeah good lord and here we go with the grab man the pressure from Jacko man look at this man ah good stuff okay yeah went as far away as possible to not get hit by the two HF and gets the kill with the quick dust and just like this, man, I get on the verge of actually eliminating Mugi 3 to nil. That would be crazy. I saw way more Jackos after uh, the 2k2 defense. Yeah, yeah. Not sure if it's the same patch from the buff on the start. Yeah, you tell me, man. Actually, I actually don't know. But the 2k2 D was buffed or something? Did they, like, alter it or something? Was it different from uh, from the character when, it, when the character first came out? I'm actually not knowledgeable in it. Oh man, Mugi tried to go for the kill using the OTG. But this is, yeah, this is checkmate. Yeah, that was checkmate. Good stuff from Mugi gets finally one on the board. One on the board finally. Good stuff, Mugi not going down without a fight. Okay, let's see how this pans out. On to the next battle. Next battle, immediate Beyblade counter hit, man. Woo, what was that? That was definitely uh, an input error. I get a, yeah, going out of, yeah, going completely ham, and Mugi actually taking advantage of uh, probably the miss inputs right there from Hagiara. He goes for the command grab, and just like this, Mugi gonna take it, take the uh, first round of this fourth match with a perfect, a very big statement. Hagiara falling off a little bit, finally gets the hit with the 2D counter hit. It would whip a lot of time. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Ah, they made it more consistent, I guess. Probably the 2K, just like the 2K 2D of, uh, of Eno, I suppose. As good as Jacko is now, Nigel can cover most of her options, though. So I can I can agree. I definitely can. I can also see how this matchup can be mad and wing uh, for, for Nago as well. I can I can definitely see both uh, end of the spectrum, I guess. That being said, here we go with the side switch from Hagiara. Hagiara not giving up! This is gonna whiff! Yeah. Oh no, it's not okay, I lied, I lied. My fault. My bad, my bad. I I lied. I completely lied. No, no, Boogie son No, but he drops it. This is so unfortunate. And he goes for the quick dash for the kill. And just like this, Moogie. Moogie bringing it back, man. Two to two. Moogie staying alive. I would say that for like 90% of Nago matchups. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I feel like Mago. Uh, Mago. <laughs> I feel like Mago. Oh, Lord, that was a bad burst. Ah, this is bad, bad, bad. Ah, here we go with the command grab. And pff, my Lord, Moogie just bringing everything back. Hitting all of them buttons and gonna get the kill with the overdrive. Yeah, Nago is probably like this type of character where... Well, he has bad matchups, but it's only until he gets the first hit, I feel. Once he gets the first hit, like, any bad matchup that he has is like not a bad matchup anymore. I don't, I don't know if, if, if you see what I mean. Very nice air grab right there from, from Moogie, man. I tried to get the follow-up with the, the 3k. Okay, finally the chance from Ayala trying to get out of the corner. Smart, thank you very much for the raid, my brother. How you doing? Thank you very much. So much appreciated, as always. I hope you had a fantastic stream. And here we go with the Elysian Driver. Smeeb. 
<laughs> Nago doesn't have two bad matches. Yeah, it's only until he hits you once and then he opens you and then you're dead, basically. How are you doing, Mineral? The president of gaming. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome back, man. Here we go with the wall break, man. And he's going down to the final, the final round of the final match, ladies and gentlemen. I played Monster Train. Nice. I hope you had a fantastic, uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic stream, man. Really hope. Sick emotes. It is, it is. <laughs> Okay, that being said, here we go with the corner pressure, and you hit- Oh, I hope you didn't press a button. I hope you didn't. Oh, we go. Oh, didn't get it. Woo, that side switch was schmixy, though. Not gonna lie. We go to 2K. Uh, with the 2K, two, the 2S. Two, ooh, no jump it, and yeah. Okay, this can really go either way, and here we go with the wall grab, the, the, the air grab. No, I guess it on the way up, and just like this smooth. Someone dropped it and Tiger popped it up. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, that being said, here we go on to the uh, next the next uh, losers matchup. Let's see how this pans out. Kind this kind uh, this uh, Kami mode is interesting. Yeah, it's good, right? I really like it. I really like it as well. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure from Ice. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. I like it very much. Yeah, I need to get new ones. Uh, similar with uh, with Eno and with uh, UL, so you know from GGST and UL from uh, from uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. I need to get like similar ones. I need to contact the creator. <laughs> yeah. That being said, here we go with the dive. Unfortunately, he got it. Uh, it whiffed. Oh Lord, and the air to air counter it. Oh, and here we finally RF using the uh, over. Uh, the overhead, but Ice looking actually pretty good, man. Wait, 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 they did fight each other earlier today. Let me, let me check this. I think they did. Pretty sure they did. Yeah, they did! And actually, RF took it 3-0, to zero, so this is like a, this is a revenge match right there. So RF sent uh, Ice in the loser's racket, so this is the opportunity for Ice to make a comeback and, well, to, 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 uh, well, to, to get his uh, comeback from him, from it. Okay, let's see, and here we go with the uh, dive clash, and RF ends up taking it. Do we get SF6 Kami version of uh, Thanks Kami emote? Uh, I don't know. I like it like this, personally. I prefer this this version of Kami than the uh, the, the the clothes that she actually rocks on Street Fighter 6. But if I, yeah, I'll, I'll try to look into it, I guess. But I really like this emote as well. I'm gonna try to first get uh, Eno, like similar one, not exactly the same animation. And then get a uh, UL, and I'll see afterwards. But yeah, for now I like this uh, this Cami mode. I think it's it's pretty wholesome. <laughs> I love Cami. That being said, here we go. RF makes a comeback. Man takes the first match of this set. Let's see how this pans out for Ice. <clears throat> oh, you're good. Oh, the just defend, the just block. Okay, Ice trying to make his way ever so slightly, but too far. But oh, okay, he gets the punish on the mix, mix, mix. RF on point on blocking the empty low from Ice. Go with the aerial approach. Couldn't quite punish it with the with the stroke. Very nice to punish right there from RF using the sweep to get the knockdown. Oh lord, RF going ham with that. Going completely ham with the uh what's called the, the dive. Oh lord, that was probably not an intended side switch, but still okay. Still on point, man. Look at this, RF. The multitask is real. And Ice using your RC to uh, secure a wall, not a wall break, but at least wall pressure. Couldn't get the uh, air to air right there. RF up. One match in one round right now. Okay, here we go again with the air to air, man. On point, RF he is. Ah, he even get the spear and the follow up with this. Did a lot of damage, good lord. Yeah, as you can see, RF. Yeah, getting the trumpet. Gonna get the pressure, forcing Ice to block. Luckily for Ice, he was out of range to get hit by the Mio. Nice confirm on the mix, mix, mix. Oh lord! A good corner pressure right there from Ice. Finally gets something going. Goes for the re jump and goes for the empty low. He's gonna get the wall break. Still not enough to get the kill though. Gotta see how this spins out. Okay, a little bit too far to get it to hit. They're going RF. Ah, oh, I guess they get with the dive yet again. 
Things are looking a little bit bleak for Iceman, not gonna lie. But then again, I am going to say something very biased. The Faust matchup for you know is absolute hell. You might not believe it, but it really is the case. Please trust me. Trust me, bro. <laughs> Okay, here we go with Ice finally getting something going, but there's the bomb to prevent him from continuing his, on his onslaught. He, oh, this is unfortunate, he slipped on the banana, but very nice air throw right there from Ice. Gets hit by the overhead. Fortunately, he did uh, get out of stagger quick enough not to get hit by the, uh, the follow-up spear. There we go with the weight. And many fouls to extend the pressure. Uh, yeah. You have to respect the bomb. A very nice 6 speed right there from Ice. He's gonna go for the empty low. Finally gets the... Oh! Opens his opponent up. And here we go with the weight. Ah, nice. Nice 2S counter hit right there from Ice. He should be able to seal the deal. Yes, he did. Good stuff. Finally, Ice. Back in the game. Not going down without a fight. Oh, no! He tried to do... He tried to... Tried to snap... Tried to snap Sarf right there using the gold burst, but fortunately, yeah, Sarf was definitely on point, not biting. He's gonna get the wall pressure, the corner pressure. And here we go. He gets the spear with the follow up. This is gonna do a lot of damage. And he goes for the extension as well. Wall break. Good lord. Ah, very nice punish right there from Ice. Wanted the side switch, but get six speed in the process. Things are looking pretty bleak. YRC, he gets out of all of this pressure at once. Forces the YRC of his opponent, but unfortunately doesn't block it. And RF was free to exert some offense of his own. Here we go with the dive. Oh, the re-jump of the dive. Good block by RF. With the stroke. Again with the dive, man. This has been the bane, the bane of ice, man. You can see he's get, he gets hit by the dive every single time. Again with the dive. Again with the dive, man. Yeah. Ice needs to do something about this first before trying to... Ah, I guess hit by the spear. Whoa. Ah, that was the, 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 the hammer. A little Faust, man. You hate to trigger him. Ah, go with the extension. Or I'm trying to seal it. Wow. Oh, and the air to air yet again in favor of RF. And here we go with the air to air again from RF for the kill. RF takes it a clean. Giovanna for you. Well, I'm, like, to be fair, I understand that in, in this matchup, you might want to have, like, the maximum speed to close the distance between you and um, and Axel. So I, I totally understand the reason. And also, Takarin absolutely hates Chip. Like, he absolutely abhors him. So I, I understand. So anyways, here we go with the pressure of TY. Try to whip punish right there, goes for the overhead. Ah, he's gonna go for the mix-up. Or not, for the wall break actually. Ooh, lord, look at the damage! Good lord! Chip does not do any damage, by the way. <laughs> that was sick damage though. Okay, here we go with the 2HS. Ah, TY trying to go for the grab. Oh no! Oh lord! Oh lord! That was an unfortunate burst. And that punish from TY though, that punish was sick. That punish was sick. Good stuff from TY. Gets the first round. Let's see how this pans out. The TY ah, gets hit by the 2k. Very nice. Uh, just block right there from Tagarin. And my lord, TY just going ham, yeah, man. I gets the counter hit on the uh, Sukiyaki. Finally, Takarin gets the snail. Some leeway to breathe just a bit. Nice box on the overhead. Oh my lord, and that air grab. That was crazy good. Like getting the knockdown. And the corner pressure is real good for the 2k. Probably wanted to get the wire That's why he backed off. And he gets the he gets the confirm on the uh on the overdrive. Very nicely done by uh by TY man. Takes the first match very convincingly, not gonna lie. Takarin seemed a little bit lost. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's see how this went out. We never know, we never know. It's just the first match. Maybe there's gonna be an adaptation. But yeah, as I have stated previously, Takarin absolutely hates this matchup. Ah, the big counter hit right there on the Skiaki, followed by the overhead by TY. Nice back there, though, from Takarin. 
Oh, you're going to snail. This is a knockdown. Oh, Lord. And TY again gets hit by the snail. There we go. Even more real estate right there from Taganin. Oh, no. He gets it just grabbed by TY, forced in the corner. Again with the grab. Oh, Lord. Gamma Blade for the win. Oh, and he's going straight for the overdrive as always. Good stuff from TY. Nice confirms, by the way. Gonna go for the safe jump and the command grab for the kill. Good lord, man. TY on point, man. On point. Let's see how this spins out. Ah. Oh, TY going for the 2k and immediately uses the Alpha Blade. Oh, that far is though. Ah, and immediately uses the overdrive. It's not gonna break. What? Ah, it is, it is. The wall has been broken. Again with the Gamma Blade. Reset the pressure. Again, Gamma Blade. Damn, optimization station combos, man. Good lord, Takarin looks so lost. She looks so lost. This is crazy, man. Odi near the wall always right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Got it. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the advice. Well, thanks for the, the info. Uh, she's Kink Bagel. And welcome to the stream, by the way. That being said, here we go with the far S. Whiff punish from TY, man. The whiff punishing. The whiff. The whiff punishing god, man, TY. Okay, here we go. The jump in by Takarin. Yeah, really has a lot of problems, man, to freaking get yeah, the pressure going, man. This is pretty hard to watch, man. Yeah. Yeah, but as I have stated, like, Chip is the absolute least favorite uh, matchup for, for Takani. And I believe that like every single Axel player ha hates this matchup, probably they do. It wouldn't surprise me. Because you just don't... Any any button that you press, you have to commit, I guess. If you play against Chip, because Chip is so freaking so freaking quick. And here we go with the overdrive. This should kill... Maybe not. Uh, yes, it, no, it doesn't. Because good lord, it doesn't do any damage. And here we go with... Uh, I tried to bait the YRC, unfortunately. TY did not, uh, did not, did not bite for this bait. And he goes for Alpha Blade, man. The stagger Alpha Blade for the kill. And here we go. We are on set point. TY on the verge of uh, making his way to grand final on the winner side. Very nice lensing Geki right there. Again with the jump out from Takarin, man. Cannot get something started for the life of him, man. Here we go, the jump in, but TY immediately uh, stand, standing punches him. <laughs> and the freaking con- oh lord! The confirms! This is crazy, good stuff from TY, gonna get the wall break and the corner pressure. Ah, immediately burst, man, but yeah. Takarin just wanted- yeah, he just wanted space to breathe, because this is not possible, man. Ah, oh, and the air to air, and... Oh, good lord, again with the overdrive. Oh, try, try, come on! Okay, what is gonna be the mix? Oh, Lord. Ah, he's gonna go to... Yeah, he's gonna chip him. Oh, no, too far. Oh, it's okay. It gets him with the far slash. Good stuff from TY, man. A very convincing. Oh, it's gonna be none other than Moogie versus RF, man. This is gonna be crazy. Damn cursed. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I can see why he hates that matchup. Yes, me too. <laughs> Definitely I can. Okay, on to the loser's final. Usually Mugi tends to take it, not gonna lie. Uh, Arif does have a lot of problems against Mugi, but that being said, I think the match in its... Well, you guys are gonna say yes, but Nago doesn't have any bad matchups. Yes, I know. I know he does. He doesn't have, but he still struggles against like characters who have a tendency to zone you compared to other players, uh, to other characters, I personally feel. But uh, yeah, uh, I feel like it, this this matchup, pers uh, like specifically, Nago versus, uh, and and please cor correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I feel like it's it's probably a pretty big struggle for for uh, for Nago to Yuki in general, even if Faust is not considered like a top tier character. I personally can't see how uh, Nago Yuki can struggle in this matchup. That being said, here we go. First round by RF, and back to the neutral. RF using a lot of uh, dive ki uh, dive kicks right there. We go with the command grab. We're gonna lower that uh, that blood rage. Thank you very much for the follow, cheesecake, and welcome to the bird rose. And thank you for the uh, super scene buff. Since yes, if you guys either follow, cheer, raid, or uh, follow, cheer, raid, or subscribe to the channel, you give me a super saiyan buff. 
Just like... Not this. Just like this, right? Oh, damn it. It's not here anymore. Well, it'll come back. <laughs> it'll come back later. <laughs> Wait, where did my Super Sin buff go? What the hell? Let me check. This is not normal. No, no. Uh, it'll come back later. I think it has a cooldown of like one minute. And I've been having a lot of follows, so uh, the, the, the cooldown has been like accumulating ever so slightly. What level are you now? You still have short hair. I still have no hair, actually. <laughs> right now, I'm like... I'm like level zero, man. I have no... I'm Nappa. I'm Nappa right now. That's my level. <laughs> so, Nappa would be level 4000, I guess? I'm level 4000. Which is actually pretty good, if you ask me. But that being said, yeah, I still, I still lack training. That being said, here we go with... He does, he does. Ah, here we go, finally. And, oh lord, RF actually manages to take, uh... To take the lead, and here I am. I'm, I'm super sane now. I made it. My my training has paid, has paid off. Um, I'm level two actually because I have the the lightnings around me, so I'm level two. So Super Saiyan two. I don't have a Super Saiyan three filter though. I need to buy a wig probably. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not doing this. Having said, here we go with RF and the command grab. It's, oh, very nice spear right there forces me get even more in the corner and forces me to pop the burst. Again with the corner pressure, and Mugi gets the close S. Oh no, but slips on the banana, you hate to see it. And here we go with the RF and the confirms gets the follow up on the dive counter hit. Chat start following, I want to see this. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have, I do not have this, uh, this power enabled yet. And following me more than that will not make it so I have the level 3, I'm sorry. But you are more than encouraged to follow me, yes, this is uh, much appreciated, of course. Uh, not that it's going to change my my resolution to keep streaming. I absolutely love streaming these tournaments for you guys to showcase a little bit of the Japanese scene, especially with English commentaries and English insights as well, because I don't believe that there are a lot of, um, of tournaments in Japan which provide both. I am deep in the GGST uh, community as well. I tend to know like most of the players that not only participate to majors, but also in like uh, lesser tournaments, so I can definitely provide you guys with a uh, pretty nice insight on the general, you know, uh, members of the community over here in Japan. So this is the reason why I stream, this is the reason why I want to showcase uh, these types of tournaments. So yes, you are more than uh, welcome to um, to press the follow button and just, you know, stay uh, and stay updated. But that being said, here we go on to the potential final match of this, uh, this set, by the way. So far, RF has been completely dominating Mugi. But then again, we are not um, we are not safe from a comeback from Mugi, as you could have seen during his previous matchup against the Jaco player, uh, against uh, Ra Ragia. I still don't have his name down though because it was the absolute first time I saw him play. Ragia, damn it, Ragiara, Ragiara, I think it was. Ah, Hagiara, I'm sorry. Yeah, against Hagiara-san, uh, as you could have seen, as you did see, uh, he was led two to zero, but did manage to do a comeback. So. We're not, we're not uh, safe from a comeback from Mugi as well. Oh, good lord, so many bombs. What are you going to do again? Another bomb. Again, here we go. Ah, Mugi did manage to... Oh, almost got the... Oh, he's got the trumpet. Yeah, that was four, four hammers in a row. Yes, it's hammer time, man. It's definitely hammer time. Oh, and Mugi, man, just like this. He brings it back. Well, at least he got the first round. He didn't completely bring it back, but he got the first one. So let's see how this comes out. Yeah, this matchup seems hard as hell, man. For Nagal Yuki, hell, it seems so freaking hard. That being said, here we go with the... Oh, no wall break, actually. Go close S pressure. That goes for the Fukyo. Gonna get the grab. Here we go close S again. Yes, the counter hit on the Beyblade. And Arf was very intelligent not to burst on that particular instance. Or else he would have been uh, burst baited. That being said, here we go back to the neutral and zoning game from RF. RF using his head as a bomb. Oh, he gets the uh, spear. Could have got the extension if Mugi didn't have the burst though. And here we go with the jump in. Couldn't quite get the follow up. Oh lord, and RF inputting the um, the quick TP uh, using the, uh, oh lord. Ah, U using the uh, teleportation skills of the Scarecrow and R seeing it out of it. Here we go again with the Meteor Man. Oh, Lord! Nice blocks for Mugi, not getting hit by the overhead. That being said, here we go, Mugi! Mugi's bringing it back, man! 
He is! He's gonna do another comeback? Really? No way. No way. No way. I do not believe it. I do not. If he does, man. If he does, that would be crazy, man. Is he gonna bring it back? No. Oh, no 2HS here, Sha. Very nice sweep from RF. Punishes the whiff 2HS. That being said, here we go. Back to zoning game. Gets hit by the spear. Very nice 6Ps right there from Mugi. I guess it by the sweep though. Okay, here we go with the sweep again. Gets hit by the gets hit by the bomb, unfortunately. And RF, yeah, trying to get some leeway back so that he can in-store his game. I here we go with the oh lord that overhead though. Again with the hammer. Here we go with the wig. Finally, Mugi trying to ah oh, really trying to make his way. Oh, and gets hit by the meteor. Yeah, that was that was checkmate right here. <laughs> well, he could have vlogged, but that would have been really, really yeah. The follow up would have been uh, pretty dire for him. Oh lord, that oh, how did it hit him? Damn, I swear to God. Okay, here we go with oh the follow up with the mix six fix. He's gonna get the OTG and uh, set point by the way by RF. If RF takes this one, Mugi is gonna be eliminated from the tournament. Very nice pressure right there from RF. Wants to keep the wall pressure. Ah, it goes for the spear, but Mugi was already committed to his 2S. And this is really looking bad for Mugi. Oh, very nice 6P. And just as I say this, man, Mugi makes his way back upon RF trying to keep to stay alive. Ah, wait. Yeah, oh, saved by the weight. Oh, no, and here we go with the kill. Just like this, Mugi brings it back home. Mugi doesn't want to die, man. Mugi doesn't want to get taken out of this tournament. He wants to, he wants his, uh, his run back to, uh, against CY, I feel. Okay, that being said, here we go with the jump in on the command grab attempt from Mugi. Mugi has a lot of uh, blood right now. He needs to be careful. Oh, very nice 6P on the spear attempt from RF this time around. Uses the sweep, gets the counter hit on the 6P attempt of Mugi. We go with the air to wear with the, uh, what's it called, the dive from RF. Or if you, uh, using the trumpet, well, catching the trumpet. <laughs> he definitely wants to put fire in this wig. Ah, oh, I guess it by the 2HS though. This is unfortunate. We go Moogie back on his feet, gets the grab. Oh lord, he gets the burst bait! And Moogie's bringing it back, yo! Oh, let me get lord. Are you serious? This is gonna be a comeback? No way. No way. No freaking way. That would have meant that Mugi made two comeback. He was led previously against Hagiara, 2-0, made the comeback, won the set. Is he doing the same against RF? No, that's crazy. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I refuse. Oh, that was an unfortunate burst. That's still okay. He really got out of it uh, quite like cheaply, if I might say. Cheap as in he didn't lose that much health. Uh, okay, let's see back in the neutral. Lots of bombs right here. Oh no, and gets the juggle. This is gonna kill. Okay, RF is on match point, set point. Let's see if Mugi can bring it back yet again. <laughs> Good lord, Mugi. With the dive, again the dive. Mugi challenged it with the uh, stunning K. Did get a trade in the. Uh, as a result, which is pretty fairly good if you ask me. Okay, here we go, RF. Gets hit by the 2S counter hit, man. Oh, and RF using the quick teleportation features of the uh, Scarecrow to get out of the corner. But yeah, has to hold the block feature because of the bomb. Oh, well, almost got the juggle with the bomb, by the way. Okay, here we go with... Oh, look, no! And the babe lady slips on the banana. But that being said, here we go with the air to air. Moogie with the afro. Ah, oh, gets hit by the 2D, unfortunately for him. Uh, I, is it the 2D though? I'm not quite sure now that I think of. Ooh, Lord, that counter hit though. Ah, he's got Meteo. Oh no, and he gets hit by the side switch using the Scarecrow. Good stuff by RF. Okay, the curse has been lifted. Final Takarin versus RF, both masters of their respective characters. Uh, did they fight each other early on today? Let me check it out real quick. I think they did. Yes, they did. And actually, uh, Takarin managed to send RF in the losers. So, uh, so this is a grudge match. <laughs> no, it's not a grudge match, but it's a, uh, a comeback. It's a run it back match. That being said, here we go with Takani trying to get the Lensen Geki. Nice box of, of RF on the 2S entire attempt of Takani. 
Takani with Gilen Sengeki. Oh, and the checks from RF Pen. Very nicely done. He's gonna go with the spear. Good blocks from Takarin. And Takarin really on point when it comes to punish the uh the, the dive attempts of uh, of RF. And I feel like it's this is what is doing the difference between him and his other like uh his the other opponents of RF. Is that Takarin is really on point when it comes to um to punish the uh, the dives. Oh, very nice close S, which also entired right there. I think uh, RF went for another another uh, dive attempt and unfortunately was hit by the close S of Sakanin. Okay, hold on to the reminder of the match. Here we go with the air to air trade right there. Okay, Lin Sengeki from Sakanin trying to keep RF out and RF using the spear to hit Sakanin out of his uh, Lin Sengeki attempt. Here we go, Lin Sengeki again. The little Faust is on the stage. Very nice all oh, conversion using the little Faust, man. Mini Faust. And RF using the quick teleportation of the um of the scarecrow to get behind his opponent and opening him up. That being said, here we go. Oh Takani failed to get Oh Lord! Takani trying to punish this TP attempt attempt, but unfortunately couldn't get anything. Here we go with the air to air in favor of Takani. Gonna get oh no! That was so unfortunate, and just like this, Orf didn't have the time to use his burst. You hate to see it, man. Good stuff from Takani takes the first match. Let's see if RF can, uh, well, can manage to bring it back, man. Well, it's not completely like a completely desperate. I'm not gonna lie. It's not completely one-sided. RF did do a lot of good things, but that being said, Takani does have the advantage. RF did get the medio. Okay, here we go with the dust. Okay, no juggle on the Lensengeki. The Sickle Storm. There you go, Sickle Storm again. Woo! Oh lord, that was so close. Okay, too late to put fire on the wick. That being said, he did manage to get the hit on the uh, spear. There we go again with the airs. The air interactions mainly in favor of Takani, man. Again with the TP, man. I think Arf was looking for it. Fortunately, he did get a side switch. He might want. Ooh. Ah, but it's okay. He goes for the quick. Uh, the quick dust, and he should get the wall break. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That was definitely a command. Uh, that, that was an error. That was an execution error. Yo, RF just burned his burst right there, unfortunately. This is so, so unfortunate. I really hope he's not going to come and bite him in the butt, though. That being said, here we go. Very nice start, though. Who goes for a run up close S man and you can feel probably the frustration from our F right there from having burned his burst for absolutely no reason. It's still okay, he does have like yeah, he does have the uh the, the pressure, tries to go for a quick dust again. Oh nice punish on the snail right there. <laughs> Good tech right there from Takarin to use the momentum of the Axel Bomber uh, combined with a quick RC to get out of the corner completely. Flying to the moon. Oh, nice jab right there from RF. Not enough to kill though. Having said, this could go both ways. And if it does, I really. F oh, okay, here we go with the dive. Luckily for RF, he was able to seal the deal, even though he did burn his burst uh, unintentionally, if I might say. So, yeah, that, that was really unfortunate. But it's still okay, he managed to bring it back. So, this is the most important thing. Okay, that being said, here we go on to the third match. RF uh, lands a command grab. He's gonna get the wig on fire. And my lord, Takani not afraid to just pop the 2S, man, for entire. Usually, when your wig is on fire, nobody presses a button because they're afraid of, you know, the wig just exploding and and your opponent getting a combo. But our Takani, man, the match of knowledge, not afraid to press buttons. Not afraid to press buttons at moments when it counts, basically. That's the that's the the mark of a very strong player. That being said, here we go with Takarin and the Oh no, you hate to see it and he tried to go and punish, but it's still okay. Uh he did get the burst of RF and also get the uh follow-up for the kill, so yeah, it was Ooh, the big rainwater start of the round though did this a lot of damage. But Faust, no. Faust is good as he is. <laughs> I'm afraid of Faust as well, you know. There are some characters if I feel if you buff them. They're gonna be like completely insufferable, and I just don't want that. <laughs> and these characters are, yeah, definitely. I, I think Jaco is in it. I feel like Faust also would definitely be in there as well. I feel. I don't know why. Yes, I know, Lapris. I'm sorry. I know you. You don't agree with me. <laughs> I know you don't agree with me.
But I don't know. F Faust can be really tricky, I feel. I feel like Faust is like one step ahead. Uh, one step... One step short of being super freaking strong. I'm really afraid of this character. That being said, yeah, RF is definitely struggling right now, not gonna lie. Probably, yeah, the Axel matchup is not one that favors Axel. Uh, not favors uh, RF, I'm sorry. Uh, RF, Faust. That being said, here we go, man. We have so many Faust players today, by the way. Really, really happy. We had Amato, Trash Bag, we had RF. Pretty sure we had other an another one also that we didn't see on stream, unfortunately. Like I said, here we go, the, ah, the rainwater and the conversion station for Takani. Just like this, he moves on a 2 to 1. Still one match short uh, before make making his way back to the uh, to the winner's final, the, the grand final, actually. That being said, TY did send uh, Takari in the losers quite easily, so... Is Takarin going to have what it takes to like bring it back? We shall see. Ah, here we go, the rainwater counter hit gets the side switch. Good stuff from Takarin. Oh, and here we go with the dives, man. Dive, dive, dive. Good stuff from Takarin pressing the buttons when it counts, man. Ah, here again with the dive. Nice confirm, uses the mix, mix, mix to get the corner carry. He's gonna get the wall break, is he? Yes, he is. Here we go with the wall break. And here we go. That was a long ass dive. Don't go ahead. No entires right there. But it's so it's so scary to try to entire uh, Faust when he's in the air like this. Oh lord, he gets hit by the uh, the scarecrow. And then immediately burst goes for another scarecrow. Quick. Uh, oh, he couldn't quite get the kill. Oh no. And Takarin on point with the block. Just like this, Takarin is on match point. Actually, set point. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, yeah, good challenge right there from Takarin. He's gonna get the knockdown. Here we go the oh lord, that was an unfortunate burst again. Or a little bit on the at the wits end right now. Oh lord, that was a very nice counter hit. Okay, oh uses the that was crazy. He uses the follow up of the Lensengeki to hit the head, the falling head of uh. Of RF and, and eliminated as a projectile. That is crazy, man. Having the matchup knowledge of this dude. Ah, here we go. The quick uh, RC off of the. Again, the scarecrow couldn't quite get the uh, juggle. The RF staying alive. Still not dead, but man, this is clutch. Yeah, RF. RF at the end of his. Ah, at the end, man. What is gonna happen? Here we go. The dive. Unfortunately, they didn't have meter to cancel and make it safe. And just like this, my versus Takarin. This is a grand final. Let's see how this pans out. Unfortunately for Takarin, Ty was the one to send him in the losers bracket. So this is the run back for Takarin. But to be fair, Takarin had a lot of problems during their first, uh, th their first set. So let's see if he had the time to like ponder for, you know, some countermeasures. I hope he will. If not, this might be very hard for him. So let's see how this pans out. On to the grand final! And here we go with a TY and the whiff punishes are real! Oh, very nice there to right there from TY. Uh, trying to push Takani ever so slightly in the corner. Gets the opening with the, uh, the, 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 what's it called? The over, the overhead. I was gonna say overdrive. No, we are not playing Street Fighter 6 yet. Again with the overhead. Nobody home. Again with the 2K man. Holy freaking lord. Ah, good stuff from Takanin gets the hit with the 4S. With the Samurai, Takanin looking for blood. And that air to air grab. That air grab was crazy good, man. Oh, Lord, and the freaking chip sucks. <laughs> yeah. Chip is probably. He probably doesn't suck in my opinion. But yeah, yeah. Lots of people. Lots of people not. Convinced that Chip is actually a good character. I have to say, I think Chip is a pretty good, pretty damn good character. That being said, here we go with the pressure from TY. Trying to get that wall pressure, man. Forces the burst upon Takarin. And here we go with the far S. Immediately canceled into the, uh, the overdrive. There we go with the hard knockdown. Oh lord! Oh my lord! And Ty just using the burst to keep Takari in the corner. Ah, uh, this is death, by the way. Yeah, this is death. This is death. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord. 
That was the win condition of of uh, of um, of uh, what's it called? Listen, of chip. I would say that this is more TY merit than chip being. I think it's a combination of both. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. But a shitty character wouldn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't. Chip is broken. Uh, the words of Lapriz, not mine. Here we go with the Fujiyama Dingo. Here we go. Oh, Toto, come on! Let's break that wall. Let's get that positive bonus. Oh, good lord. Yeah, and you can see, like, TY just searching to get that, uh, that, that infinite pressure using the, uh, what's called the, uh, positive bonus of Chip. Chip, one of the rare characters to actually, like, literally having infinite pressure once he has, like, uh, one bar of, uh, one bar of tension and positive bonus and his opponent in the corner. So yeah, it's, uh, hard. <laughs> That being said, here we go again with, yeah, T.Y. smothering, man. He's smothering TK. He's smothering Takarin. And again with the confirms, man. Look at this. The confirms of T.Y., man. Come on. We're going to hear this a lot today. And here you go. Infinite pressure. Good boom. Good lord, man. That This is crazy. Up to the zero already. Who defeated the Jackal guy? Uh, Mugi. Mugi did. Uh, Mugi, Mugi. Mugi, uh, the a top eater of Arc Revo Japan, by the way. I'm going to continue saying it until everybody knows it. But yes, Mugi, extremely strong Nagori Yuki player. I think said, here we go with the corner pressure, man. And Takarin, man, at the. Oh, it's, it's kind of painful to watch. <laughs> Takarin really cannot, like. It's so hard for him to do anything. The whip punishes, though. That whip punish was crazy. Matchup looks tough. As F for yeah, it is, man. This is well, I, I think it is. I'm not an actual player, but oh lord, uh, he goes for the 2k, no punish right there. He goes for the overhead and the alpha blade. And Takarin doesn't even have the time to burst, but that being said, I think Takarin just wanted to keep his burst for the final, the potential final round. Okay, and TY definitely looking good right now, gonna get the knockdown. Gonna go with the corner pressure. Now the pressure is real, man. Pressure is unreal. Here we go with the forest. Finally, Tegarine trying to get out of the corner, but man, it's just not it's just not working out for him, man. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the overhead, finally. Finally, TY opening. Yeah, because Takarin has been so solid so far, but he cannot get out of this corner, man. He cannot get out of this corner. It's crazy. This is just a speed run at this way. It is, man. And here we go with the YRC. Again with the grab, my Lord. This is freaking crazy. Here we go. Then he goes for the run up grab. Good lord. And just like this, TY is your bro.